Okay. Yeah, yeah it was in the roof, Peter. All right. Okay, I, I'm on. I guess it's my phone then. Yeah. yeah. Where's the plug for the i? Where's the? No, it's a Hydra. I don't have a high phone charger for. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. I'm ready. Okay, so yeah, let's get these folks back. Um, let's let's uh, wait a minute and see if we can get the people back on. Hey Peter, how you doing? I'm good, you know. Um, you guys are better than me. <laughs> Don't say that. All right, I won't. <laughs> Just, uh, oh, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Hello again, folks, and please share the link and tell your people that we're back on. Um, and let's jump into this. Um, I can hear. Think Peter, Peter needs to crop up the phone properly. Okay, Peter. Hey, you know, it's a new, new day and age, and you know, everybody's gonna need a, a stand for their phone in this new day and age because it's all about content and sharing information online. So we're gonna have, you know, you know we're gonna need a phone stand and all that stuff. To make sure we do proper um, framing and and videotaping and all that stuff. It is that up to you, okay. It is what it is, right? Yes, sir. Uh, um, okay, so tonight, what we're trying to do, what I'm gonna do tonight is is uh, basically a question and answer. We're gonna take questions from all these folks. And um, and try to answer them the best we can, and share our experience as we go along. So basically, folks, everybody should know who King Curry is. Lincoln, where owner operator and uh, of uh, Faithful Farms, and well, I don't know if he operates it, <laughs> but he is the director. Let's put it that way. He's the director of uh, Grateful Farms. But the family on the ground, um, Chiki's family on the ground, I think they execute um, the plans that uh, Casey lay out. Uh, well, what's her name? Kalina and the kids. Um, and then Peter McCook. And Peter Lately, Peter Mack has been taking internet, Facebook uh, forums, and everything by storm because he's been sharing information um, of what his experience is on his farm, which is a pig farm, but now he's into goats. And he has a lot of insight when it comes to um, procedures and protocols on the farm. And he's been sharing how he does things his farm. So tonight, I, I figured since everybody's at home, let's share information based on our local operations. You know what I mean? People's experience on running local operation and and how we can help other people in our sector, whether it's chicken, pig, goat. Whatever it is, we're going to try to get some answers to questions. So right away, my first question, I have a question for Lincoln. Right off the bat, I'll start it. And Lincoln, so when I first met you, I think you were up to like 300 goals. Yeah. And you've cut back quite a bit, right? Yes. Yes. And what is the reasoning for cutting back, and what is the plan for you moving forward? What is the, the movements there? 
Well, uh, you know, uh, ticket debt was, you know, you really have to reorganize. You, you mm -hmm. cannot, you cannot take Chicky grow in the business. You understand? Mm -hmm. We start off with one and it grow. Okay. Now, now it's hard to take somebody who grow a business. Yeah. And then take a new person and just take that new person and just drop them into the same business. Okay. Thinking that thinking that you're gonna be successful. It it mm -hmm. we, we didn't go. It. We didn't go. It. Maybe other okay. business you could do. It. Yeah. But, and keep in mind, I don't have any worker. Yeah, that's not, it. it's not like mm -hmm. it's not like you have a lot of workers that I was working with. So if one person die, you just replace him, and you still have a team. I I, yeah. I was not fortunate enough for that. So it makes perfect sense for me to. To cut back. Okay. And and I'm still cutting. I'm still cutting. Uh, so what is I the game to, plan? I, I want, I would say maybe 100 mothers. Okay. I want to have 100 mothers. Uh, one other challenge, uh, grass, feed. Okay. Uh, feed is a challenge where... All of a sudden, everybody started to raise goat in Canaanites. Oh. So, yeah. So, places where it was just me alone that was the dominant player. Because mm -hmm. I raised. Reason. Are you guys. Okay. Um, Peter, we can't hear you. Um, you just need better framing on your, on your shot there because I have a question up for you. Yep. Uh, so places where I was the dominant player, now you have mm -hmm. I have competition. Okay. So you have to Answer. you have to adjust because mm -hmm. now everybody see the benefit of well I don't know what they see, but I don't know if it's all the cars that is coming by the farm or the progress that we are making. You understand? You know, we're starting mm -hmm. to build a little house and stuff like that. Tanisha, so I don't know what they see, but what they, whatever they see, they think there's a lot of money. So, so, so that's a challenge, and that is something that I'm on the ground addressing right now. Okay, so you is your is are you topping it off at a hundred, or you're you're gonna I, get I, to a hundred females and build back from there? Yes, yes. I'm going back to the giant board. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think there are lots of land in Clarendon. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I, I don't know what's going, going on, around. Guys, but I'm not hearing you. Can okay, you hear us now? Because I had you on mute. Can you hear me now, Peter? Because we heard you, we can hear you. Okay, so you're saying, what are you saying, Lincoln? No, I've, I've been going around carrying land. You understand? Mm -hmm. Looking at land is out there. Land is out there. Grass is out there. Uh, I, 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 I think I just have to build the next couple of days just to build a good network on the ground. Mm hmm. And yeah. how you could get a, a lot of a lot of things to me is more logistic than anything. What I'm seeing, and yeah. finding the right people who could execute it on my behalf. But it's it's, okay. it's not a shortage of grass. From what I'm seeing, I mean, I've I've traveled some places uh, today that I've never seen. You know, whether it was Gimme Me Bit or uh, all the way down to Rockies or Haynes or where. So yeah, you think you're not relocating the farm? Are you looking for somewhere to create a father, a forage, a father bank or something? I'm keeping all my options on the table because you have to weigh the risk and the reward. Mm -hmm. It, it makes no sense I relocate the farm. What about the family? Yeah. You understand? Yeah, it, it's, it, it's not as 
it's not as easy as relocate the farm. Re relocate the farm. There's a family involved. Okay. You understand? Security is a big issue. I'm back now, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. All Security right. is so, a big issue. So, that's true. Yeah. Peter, there's a right off the bat, there's a question here for you. What's the situation with the feed and how we plan to approach the feed companies? So Okay. All right. Um uh, good evening, Trudy Ray. Yes, sir. You can uh, expect you to behave yourself tonight, okay? Um, <laughs> okay. First of all, what's going on with the feed is um, we have an opportunity here as we, the end user, uh, to uh, work with Nutramix. And what we're trying to do is get um, where we're at at this moment, Nutramix is willing for us to uh, make a cluster group in the different parishes. And um, we're trying to um, get 400 bags at 4% discount. Now, I did get the price this evening, but um, I'm not the type of guy just to throw numbers out. I, uh, I did send a price list to you, and I asked you to hold it, hold it back till I can review it properly. But it seems like uh, we're going to be saving 4%. Now, I just want to say 4% of what? I want to compare it to what the stores are selling. So Nutramix is really trying to get us the end user um, a, a reduced price. So I need to compare it to iPro and all that stuff because I can't get farmer excited if these numbers doesn't make sense. 4% of the current price that going up next week, I don't know, right? So we're, we're in a good position. We have a lot of farmers joining up. We have uh, sent hands. I think we have exceed more than 500 bags there. We're working on uh, St. Catherine. We're close. And I have not heard from St. Elizabeth yet. So my message to you farmers out there, give me your numbers. Uh, so we can see where we're at. But uh, it looked very promising. At least we have somebody now stepping up to the farmers and say, hey, we can help you. And it's not just chicken feeding. It's not just pig feeding. It's not just goat feeding, all feeding. Okay, so it's, a, it's, a, it's feed across the board. Whatever feed Nutramix offers, that's, that's right. what they're, they're offering a discount to clusters. Right. Minimum 400 mm -hmm. bags. Minimum 400 bucks. So, so, what, what, so that means that a group will order 400 bags. So one man may take 10, one man may take 5, one man may take 20, whatever it is. But when you order, you have to order minimum of 500, that's, that's 100 bags. 400 bags, 400, yes. 400 bags, okay. And they drop a trailer at a, a area that mm -hmm. we will, uh, somebody will supervise. Like, so for example, your place, if you're supposed to be on board, right? Yeah. They drop yeah. Out the trailer, uh, the man come pick up his feed, and then we go, right? But as I said, 4% okay. of what? I did get a price list. You saw the price list. Mm -hmm. But I just want to evaluate that and continue the conversation. Okay. Got it. Um, okay, so we'll follow up with that. Um, Liberty wants to know what's the best way to dispose of pig waste. Oh, hold uh -huh. on. Before I go, before I go to Liberty, somebody ask about Saint James for the for the feed. You want to address that before we move on to? Okay. Liberty? Uh Yes, uh, send me your send me your email and a contact number, um, so we can work on it. Saint James is close to Trelawney. We have a few people in Trelawney, so we can combine that together. It depends on where you are in Saint James, right? Uh, mm -hmm. What we gotta realize that maybe a man have to take forty five minutes to Trelawney and come pick up some feed, right? We we'll work on the logistic, but at the end at the end of the day. We're trying to create a cluster in each parish. So I'm appealing to you, pig farmers, chicken farmers, reach out to us and let's compare and see where we're at, right? And hold don't on. Get so a question for you. When, when you say 400 bags, it could be 400 bags of, it could be 100 a bags of chicken, uh, it could be yes. a combination that, that yes. results in the 400, right? That okay. is correct. All right. Okay. And um, it's ironic, you know, that 
um, I want to applaud Miss Young for giving us this uh, invitation, right? Which is but Dr. Young. Young. Dr. Young, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's ironic now, other people are coming out of the closet and saying, hey, we can solve your feed problem. Where were there? Where were they four months ago when everybody are cry about feeding, right? It, uh, um, so please don't get distracted. Let's focus on the end user. And we don't want a, a, a temporary thing. We're looking for a permanent thing, all right? That's what we're looking for. Okay. The year of the man can I, can I Can I also uh, tell you what they're trying to do? And I should have said this at the beginning. Apparently in 1970, uh, they want to put us on the same program they did for the dairy board, right? That's been in existence and it's been working very good. And I believe a place down in Clarence called, um, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the uh, place that it is right now, but it's in Clarence, right? That they're mm -hmm. doing that right, right now for the cattle farmers. The okay. same program they want to put us on. Okay, great. So we're getting some some movements on that a, a positive movement so just need people them to give us the numbers uh, mm -hmm. reach out to myself reach out to lincoln even yourself uh, on this platform so we know where we are oh yeah yeah you guys can send me the information send me whatever you need to do and we'll get it done we'll uh, forward it on to to peter because peter is uh heading this initiative up and we'll work all working together to make it happen and you know, anything for us, you know, anything that moves the needle in a positive way, that's what we're Exactly. About. And that's, that's what it's what all about. about. Okay. All right. So, Liberty wants to know the best way to dispose of pig waste. I guess that's at me because I'm a pig farmer, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, okay. So, what I do with that is um, um, you can do a pit, um, mm -hmm. but I don't, right? I use it as a fertilizer, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You're not going to see the result immediately, but in, as we all know, um, so after sitting in the ground, it breaks down. And let me explain myself, right? So what we do is put it in a bucket and uh, we plant them about one fork length or two feet from the root of any plant. So dig one fork hole, dump it in there, use a foot to... Uh, use the dirt to cover it up back and within two, three months that will break down and give uh, nutrient to the cell and that's in line of my organic farm, okay? Okay. Um, so leave it here. We have Mr. Mark Cook info so if you need details on how he goes about it I know he'll be more than happy to share how sure, they go about sure it or have his, man his farm manager tell you how they do it. Yeah. Um, okay. Any other question here? Can you send a contact info? I guess people need to know how they can forward the information regarding the feed and where do they send it. All right, let's use your um, use your uh, mailbox right now, please, uh, yeah. Ray. And then um, I'll yeah. just uh, deal yeah, with Yeah, you that. guys can just drop it right here in these comments here, and these comments will be on the 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 the, the, the my Cabra Ranch Facebook. You'll see all these con all these uh, comments with the contacts, and um, and we'll just retrieve it afterwards. Um, so let me see who else got questions here. Two bags on them. Are you guys seeing this? These these messages, right? Uh, Any other I, question, guys? I just sent you an email that they mm -hmm. can send it to. McCookFarmLimited at gmail.com. Okay. No, I, I, will, I will post that. Thank you. So people can... See, I just dropped, I just dropped that in the comments. You guys can send uh, e send an email to my cook, or you can send it to Rhea Cover Ranch there. Um, see, here's another question. So, uh, so Mr. Michael, how about farming a cluster for the end user so 
in that sense, we could have better accountability and numbers of farmers we're working with. I think that's the objective, right? Okay. Um, we're going into a year that I just don't want to take on, but that is the objective. We farmers as to unite. There's a lot of uh, agency out there that represent farming. For example, I'm with the coffee board. They do an awesome job. I'm with the banana board, I'm with the coconut board, um, and that's the board, those people, is they do a really good job. So I'm not gonna create another association. What I'm doing, if I see something out there that I can benefit the farmers, I'll be discussing it and put out pointers there. Because those agents, rather, they all do a good job, right? If that help with that answer. Okay. There you go. Um, Lincoln, there's a question for you. How was your AI um, thing? How did it go? How, how is it going? Well, we just we just did it. So, you know, we would not know the success yet. Oh, so when are, you, when are you doing when are you doing ultrasound? I, I think it's uh, 40 days. I think it's the next visit. The mm -hmm. next visit maybe should be in April. So, so if you don't... If you don't mind me asking, uh, I did five me from, Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Uh, how yeah, many I, I, animals? I did, you... uh, I did five goats, so uh, mm -hmm. we are just we are just basically just sit and wait. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we 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 really put things in place as far as I did I did my homework. You know, okay, I did my homework that. I was told to put away the animal for one month. I put them mm -hmm. away for two months. Um, yeah. Once we did the AI, I basically locked the animal away and have them on, you know, a lot of minerals, you know, grains, mm -hmm. proper, give them a good diet. So now we just sit and wait. We are just sitting and wait to see the result, what the result well, is going to be. I'm rooting for you, man. Um, uh, I, I we, we need so, that success. I, we need to see that success. Uh, I, I, I think I think if it, if it's I think if it's if it if what I did is successful, it's gonna mm -hmm. be it's gonna be it's gonna be gonna be different. It's gonna be something different to the industry mm -hmm. because of how I did it. You understand? I basically have investor coming and finance it. Okay. Oh. You understand? I I I I I think there, there's a time in which farmers should stop taking money out of their pocket. To do business, the goat yeah. must take care of business, and you have to find creative ways. So, I bring in an investor, and I'm like, okay, you're gonna go out and buy a stud for hundred and twenty thousand, hundred and thirty thousand, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not invest eighty three to eighty thousand dollars into an AI, and you know, if it's successful, you get a stud. So here's a question someone asked, how much did the five goals cost you to do? It cost about 80, a little bit over 80 something thousand. For all five? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, I, I have I have an investor who, who, who come in and put the bill. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's another question. Before before you answer this question, so the the the, the objective of having an investor, so the, the inve you and the investor are gonna share the um the results of 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 the AI. Well, I what what I plan plan to do is to give him a purebred. If it if it if it is successful, uh, I'm, I'm, he will get a purebred. Mm -hmm. Uh. If it's not successful, I'm still gonna give him uh, some some animals. Some, uh, let, let's say I'll give him a graded female from my from my production. Yeah. So that I could minimize his his loss because his loss. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you have to be mindful of you know. You have to, eighty something thousand dollars is a lot of money, but mm -hmm. it's still cheaper than going out and buying an animal for a hundred and forty. Okay. 
Now, I have to minimize his loss. And like in all things, every investment comes with risk. Okay. You just have to know if you want to take that risk. Got it. Um, here's a question from Mr. Henry. What the collective you want getting ingredients like corn, soya, wheat, mineral mix, and mixing our own gold feed similar to how they do it in South Africa? Okay, before you guys jump in. Here's the problem with mixing your own feed. I know that I know Peter has a a lot to say about this. I'm not in the business of mixing feed. I am not a nutritionist. Exactly. I don't know the chemical reaction to with yes. the in, with the with the ingredients. So I'm venturing down that road. Me let the carpenter do carpenter work. Exactly. Let the mason do mason work. And yes. I will do what I do. Yes. That is my Ray, to, opinion. Ray, to add to that, we have to realize that anybody have anybody have soya. I have access to soya. It's a good possibility that it's hot. And <laughs> as farmers, we want to go down that route. Yeah. Because so I, I only know of three companies that, that bring soya into the into the island. So mm -hmm. Do you want to really? We cannot. We cannot burn fire and go thief. And at the same time, we are using the steel in product. <laughs> you know? That's a good question. That's a good response right there. Good comment. That. Um, yeah. So, uh, P Peter, I know you got a lot to say on this. What is your take? Um, I join you by saying, let the feeding company do what they do best, and we do what we do best. Okay, let's talk results on the animal, right? Yeah. I'm going out. I'm going to talk about pigs, right? Now, since night, I'm not bashing anybody who I try self feeding, but since night, I hear a guy say, a thousand bag, a thousand dollar for a bag of additives. What is in the additives, right? Who you, who's your market you're trying to sell these stuff to, right? Those are all questions you got to ask, right? And the result you're going to get. Like, for example, me now, my goal is if a man can come to me, say, from day one to day 10, my pig will weigh anywhere from seven to 10 pounds after birth. I don't want to talk to them because I deal with facts and numbers, right? Nutrition sure. is what it's all about. We as farmers, we produce an animal, has to be able to take our product to a supermarket all right, for a replicable plate, right? So when you use all these mixed feeding, you, you change the alter the, the taste of the product. You have no control over the box, box right? You know, and as you said, all you know what the animal gets, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. That's why I, I'm That's why I'm all for working with the nutritionist and working with ingredients that you know. And now, you feeding company, if you're out there listening, right, there's a market that you can capitalize on, right? We provide the farmer with a decent product at a decent price, then we won't have this conversation. I'm going to blame Mr. Henry or whoever asked a question about mixing, right? Because all he's trying to do is get a proper end result. But at the end of the day, he's limited to where he can sell his product to, right? Because they have standards. And if we ever get this uh, organization together and we start import, uh, sorry, export our product, we have to govern to the standard. We can't go to backyard type of thing, right? You know? So there is... So, so there is an approach which is TMR, right? However, TMR has to be done the right way with a machine and with a nutritionist that's giving you the portions. But yes, how, how much corn, how much soy, how much wheat, how much water mineral mix that goes in it. That's correct. At the end of the day, if you don't have a nutritionist that is um, putting that ration together for you, I don't suggest you do it on your own. That's correct. You know what I mean? Because you're just going to end up either wasting resources 
or hurting your animals. Uh, that's correct. And, 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 and the majority of the time, the cost is higher, but they're not costing out anything. Yes. Right? They're not costing out anything. I, um, I, I spoke to several gentlemen, and, I, and he, I said, he's selling his product at this price. I said, how do you get that price? Well, you know, um, I, go, I get this from the States. I get this all over. Why are we recreating the wheel? Uh, we have uh, the qualified vets and nutritionists in Jamaica can advise us, right? Um, start out the animal with this. You end with this. Simple as that, right? And I hope the feeding company are looking at We're not trying to take away from the retail stores. We're trying to add more product uh, in usage, right? Because there's a lot of people out there using, uh, mixing their own feeding, but they can only sell to the jump on man. They can only sell to uh, a guy who takes like two pork, two pigs once a month or two goats or whatever it is, right? You know, like so for example, I, I'm not into sheep, right? So when a sheep is born, and um, you can't send the kid to the field, right? You have to confine the kid. You have to give him a certain ration for the meat to be the marbling, the tenderness of the meat. The, the, the goat, that goes to the, the field every day. That's curry goat. You have to stew that down till the meat gets soft. I pressure cook it, right? The same thing, right? So we got to be careful. We got to be careful of how... We talk about feed, and again, I'm not bashing anybody. I know the result by using the right feed. Uh, Ray said it best, right? They watch it. They watch this new, these YouTube program. The guy do this, 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 but they have a qualified nutrition telling how much, how much soya, how much corn, mm -hmm. whatever it is. You see the stuff in the big silo. And now they didn't come up with it. They have these big machines, I think they're called TMR. You know, yeah, TMR machine that mixes ingredients and it's weighed, it's measured, it's weighed, people. and it mixes it at a certain speed for a certain amount of time. Exactly. And, and then it gives a report at the end of how much you put in, how much usage per mm -hmm. animal, right? So and then. Not if you're not getting the results, you can call your nutritionist. He can mm -hmm. go in, log into that machine, and yeah, pull the right. information out and say, oh, we may need to increase the carbohydrate, or we may need to increase the protein content, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So everything about TMR is technical. Yeah, exactly. Oh, if, exactly. If you're it the right, if you're doing it the right way. Let's yeah, it so back. you're doing it the right way. Everything about it is technical. So at the end of the day, let both companies who do a great job with feeding, do their job and let them supply, supply us with a good product. We the end user, and then uh, we'll go from there, right? Because yeah, my friend, my good friend Khalil is a big um, pro promoter of TMR. I don't see him here, but I should have him on one of these days to talk about TMR. Cause he's a big on TMR because he went and started the whole thing in Israel. So he's a big. And I think he's selling it or selling the machine for Hypro. Uh, yeah. uh, we, they use him to promote the sale of the machine. But he knows a lot about TMR. And he mm. and I, Lincoln knows this. He and I have been talking about this from before I start the farm, about TMR. Because I think TMR is the way to go forward. However, TMR has to be with local products that you can get at an affordable price. Not exactly. what you see a farm. If you have mm -hmm. to ship this all this stuff and then it doesn't make any sense exactly exactly yeah. uh, okay so let me see where we are here our has a question for you lincoln he says if the association don't provide information you're requesting for some years now what's going to be the next move well i i, I mean you basically we're gonna have to make them obsolete uh there was a time in which cable and wireless never used to provide service to, if you're living in the country of St. Mary or St. Anne. And Digicel basically come in and let them obsolete. Mm -hmm. We are on the path to making them obsolete. You understand? Because they doesn't really serve 
the general purpose. Uh, uh, if somebody can tell me what they have accomplished in the past four years, they, they're, if you look, Ray, Ray and I, we basically come in the same, the industry together. Uh, you are having, you are having a chat, uh, a IG. Every Saturday night, people look forward to information. There were lots of information that was out there that you basically debunk over the past couple of years based on guests that you're bringing. I went out and I created my own Facebook group. And whether and I was part of the team with, with the progressive group. They basically remain stagnant. Basically remain stagnant as far as information is concerned. Uh, there's no, they don't have a, a central website. They have a website, but it's nothing absolute. Uh, there's nothing you could go there and look at it and say, wow, this is a, I could get some good information here. Um, so, the, I, I, I mean, to me, Mm -hmm. they, cannot hurt, they cannot hurt me because guess what? I already, I, I already gone to a different level. I, I'm more concerned about the younger, the younger farmer who's coming up, and I know that they could be effective on how they could help to transform the industry. You understand? I know, but it's a private club. <laughs> Frederick said they have a good YouTube channel. Um, it's not no that, that's a big mistake that's not this association web channel that's trevor bernard channel and these are things that i speak about and i have the balls to speak up on things like that because you have to be proactive in life we as jamaican we like to wait until things happen and when it happens we say if they know and then we make a big deal instead of being proactive listen if at any time money start to come in mm -hmm. at any time money start to come in who does the money go to and i always believe in following the money the money leads to the money will lead to the truth we That's have to true. be careful we have to be careful and let us be responsible i'm simply saying that yeah if it's for the president i'm happy for him i'm glad for him i'm ex I, I love when he make money i'm happy for him but let us let us distinguish it from day one. Is he working on behalf of the association or he's working for himself? Hmm. So just in case money come in, we know exactly there won't be no discussion of oh the president was doing this and you think it was doing it on behalf of the association, but he was doing it for himself. No. Let us this that it's just like I'm, if, if if I'm gonna mess with a woman, I'm I'm not gonna go around <laughs> and tell the woman I'm not married. I'm going to tell her from day one, yo, I'm married with my wife and my sweetheart. <laughs> your wife and your sweetheart? Yeah, I'm not into, no, I'm too old to lie, man. Just just lay the facts on the table so everybody know. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's not a problem now. What? If, he's, if, if he make a million dollars, say he make a million dollars. Yeah. Who get the money? Well, at the end of the day, really, the association is a non-entity for me because the one thing that was asked for is transparency and it's not happening. And, you know, we all got caught in the whole idea of people saying support it, you know, join up, this and that, the campaign are joining up. And it's a joke, man. In, um, uh, a joke. We tell people to pay their dues and support or whatever. And then, you know, I, I, at I, one I point, at one point, they were trying to talk and show and give information and this and that. And that was because the the they were challenged. The pre, the the executive was challenged. The presidency was challenged. And after COVID hit and everything, them no meeting can happen and all that stuff. Then. Everything goes to business as usual. Let us be you know consistent. I mean? 
We cannot <coughs> criticize. I, I, I've seen young farmers made mistakes, and we, we, we call them out on Facebook. Mm -hmm. we, we cannot. We have to be consistent, Bridget. And that is the challenge that we as farmers have. A lot of young farmers don't look, us, look at us or respect us in the fact that we are not consistent with our approach. You understand? I, 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 could, I could post a goat for $120,000 and nobody would want to come out and challenge and say, Casey, how you post that goat for $120,000? And I saw another little farmer price it. And everybody, oh man, no, let us be consistent, man. Let our approach be consistent in this business. Yeah. I got a view on this. Hmm? I got a view on this. Go ahead. Um, we do need association if we're going to hit the goals that we want in the goat business, right? Mm. Whether it's a current uh, president or a new president, right? Um, there's a lot of frustration here. And... Um, I made a post the other day and call out, ask for transparency, ask for the infighting to be over, right? And I really mean that, right? And um, I think people like yourself, people like Mackie, uh, people like um, what's a gentleman up in uh, Portland that have a thousand votes or trying to get a thousand votes. I'm mm -hmm. saying farmers need to unite and get people out who's not doing their job, uh, because we need a leader. What I'm doing uh, with the feed, it shouldn't be a single farmer like me uh, trying to get results because it benefit me too, right? Right. It should be an uh, association working on our behalf, uh, getting feed for all, not just one person, right? So I think leadership needs to step up, and leadership is not stepping up then they need to relinquish their position and let somebody who has time and words are being used, which is not right. Um, it's almost like they're doing us a favor. No, where they're not doing us a favor. You volunteer for this position. Everybody pay their $2,000. You have to say, you have to have them their be up. Don't use words like, Matt Price, I'll put the less fortunate. Those are words of demeaning, right? Because we are trying to build this industry so we can reduce the amount of import coming into the country and we build it up to a point that we can export. So we need somebody to, on our behalf, lobby the government on what we need, lobby the feeding company on what we need, right? So I'm putting that ball right in your court. I'm putting the ball right in market. Court. The guy up in Portland, I realize that he's a Senate. He's not going to have time to do that, right? So you guys have to step it up, right? And who, who are you talking about? You're talking about Crawford. Crawford's not in Portland. Crawford is down the road from you. Uh, uh, he's not in Portland? No, he's in St. Mary. He's not in Albany. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay. Um, so you understand what I'm saying, though. But mm -hmm. I think um, this, we need an association. Whether it's we association, association are a new one. So I think everybody has to bring up that, that election, vote, get a new team in place, and my thing to the farmers. We need a secretary so the stuff that Lincoln went to doesn't happen. We need standards. So if we need to go up to $3,000, like, okay, banana. Okay, I'm renew my banana um, um, application, right? It's $2,000 a year. To, so now uh, eight, 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 eight acres registered by GS, uh, GPS for so $16,000 I'm going to have to pay. What is the benefit I get from the banana board? Um, I get reduction in fertilizer when, when I used to use it, but I don't use that anymore. So I took it in other product. I get, uh, in case there's a terrible storm coming, and I wipe out all the banana and plant and they come in and do assessment. And I get something. It may not be enough to replace my field, but we need an association like that to act on our behalf. And it's strong, right? So, um, right? Marky, if you are listening, and whoever have um, invested interest in this, I'm a starter. I can't be in there, you know? I'm just learning from you guys. 
Um, well, I, 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 you know, ahead, so I tweeted ahead. already. Mm -hmm. the, 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 this notion that we are volunteering is nonsense. Nonsense. Uh, you know the power of network. Mm -hmm. I I think you met few of some of the in our WhatsApp group. You met a lot of people in it. Yep. And I have seen yourself go to some of those people in the group. Yeah. And not one of them that I know of pay market value. No. Okay. <laughs> people, these are the power of network. So to say that we are only volunteering, you are discounting the fact that when you are the president, you get to have access to people. That access means something. There's a value to it. There's a value to it. Yeah. If if the prime minister called tomorrow and said, listen, I need to speak to the gold farmer because Jamaican people love curry goat and I want to know what is going on. Who Who's going? <laughs> That's true. What price do you put on it? Yeah. We cannot just look at it things. Sometimes you have to look, see the bigger picture now. And to me, I don't care if you're volunteering or you're getting paid. I, I personally think they should get paid. And you should have a goal that this is what they need to accomplish for the year. During COVID, the government was giving away money like, like a drunken a drunken sealer. And how much of that money would farmer get? How much? Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I honestly don't think any okay. good farmer got because the, the way they were giving with the money it was based on association and groups. Okay. And I don't okay. think any of them applied or tried to be qualified for it. I know the association would qualify, but I don't think they put in an application. I raised my case. And even sure. this, this is something that we should have this discussion. Uh, remember, I think you have a guest, and the guest was talking about uh, during the COVID, how the government bypassed all the regulation to register. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Register business and register, register yeah. business and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I know that we were having problem with the association register. Was it capitalizing? I, maybe you can I help me. I don't. Know. But, then, but then the ready, even the ready thing that they were giving away a lot of money, not giving away, but they were giving access to a lot of money. The only people that could qualify in the agricultural sector was groups and clusters. I remember Comar Constable was touting it big because he knew. I guess he went through his research and he knew that clusters would qualify for this. And at one point he mentioned in that hope the association is putting in an application. But I doubt it happened because we haven't heard anything. Or if they did, they haven't shared it. Well, I don't know. And that is part of the whole transparent and, you know, having conversation. No, I told them all the time, I want to work with them. I want their strength that I could bring to them. You understand? Their areas in which I could bring but at the same time, I I have I have to protect my name and my reputation. You understand? And I can I it's hard to work with someone if there's a I I there have to be a level of trust for me All to right. really. But know. listen, we have to get over that, right? I, 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 I'm willing. That. I'm we, willing. We have to pass that uh, point. Where? I am willing. Whenever they're ready, I'm ready. But I will not stop speaking up. Okay, I agree. I agree with what you're saying. But what I'm saying here, as a new guy into the book business, because I know the support that I get for the for the crop and the uh, pigs. It's, well, I don't get any support for the pigs. Because I'm not registered because of the same reason. I didn't see the value in registering with them. I didn't see what they're going to do with me. 
um, Neutral Mix is doing a good job. Everything that the association was going to do, and all I have to do is use the feed. I'm not touting Neutral Mix, right? I'm just telling you what, uh, how, I, how I operate. So where we have to go from this point? I say a call of election, if you're not doing the job by majority of people are saying, and I'm looking at one other person right now, Mother Mano by Moat, uh, somebody had a birthday yesterday. That's the second one. And oh well, yeah, speaking of it. Peter, we actually challenged the presidency. And what happened? We challenged it, and COVID came. We're in the middle of a campaign and everything. You can ask everybody on here knew. We're in the middle of campaigning. They're throwing mud all over the place. You know, what I mean, they had a um, Paul Sears was just spokesperson for them yada 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 COVID hit we could not get a meeting a general meeting they move it so then when things cool down and calm down and then it just went away then I reassess and I'm like yo I can do better or do more by yourself from where I am by doing what I'm doing now but you know what I'm saying but and then at the same time we started working with I, we could um Mackie and I start working in depth with Khalil on feed and trying to figure out how to feed our animals. And we actually start sharing our resources with local farmers. We start getting the feed because Khalil came up with this new feed right down. Um, notice I didn't say hypo because I was I was working with Khalil. So the maintenance ration, we we discussed it with the he gave us his take. We gave him more feedback on it. He came up with this ration. And Hyper launched the ration. The association got involved, whatever. We, Mackie and I said, okay, we're going to buy the feed in bulk because then we can give it to farmers, like sell it to farmers at the discount price. Not a dollar more, not a cent more. Not whatever. So we were buying it in bulk, and the regular man down the street, you had three guys here in the area, four guys from Belfield or wherever, that would come and pick up five bag, ten bag, you know, all that stuff. And we were doing it, and then the man them say, yo, they start putting word out how we, Mackie is benefiting from from the free feed that Hypo gave away. I didn't give nobody no free feed. I'll show you the bills, man. I'll show you the, the the charges. I put never about kid nobody and give they give the association like two hundred or whatever bags. I Me and Mike was buying that in bulk. Truckload feed from the little from every truck car get taken on my driveway with the with the wood of feed, too much two three ton of feed. And then we just say, yo, you know, it, it make no sense. I'm coming yeah. now, make the man stand on me and tell them something about me when all I'm trying to do is stay up. Right. So then I figured what I'm doing here and what Mackie is doing on his side, we can move the sector forward more than trying to fight them guys for what they, they can claim to them develop. Okay. You know what I mean? I, because I don't see, to me, I don't see the upside. I need it to yeah, there's been mud slinging and the this and the that and the true word and all them things. First of all, it was initially it was like, okay, fun, whatever. But then to me, I'm like, yo, this is not how I see this thing going. You want to have no. a constructive conversation? Let's have a constructive conversation. Not abusing people and telling people they might cheer things down and they might this and they might that. But you cannot deliver on what's asked. So then I just say, yo, I just... Call my circle people and man, tell them, say, yo, I'm not interested anymore with this. And this is how there's this and this because I can bring information every week. Yes. Yeah, I gave them a blueprint. I, we did the whole booklet on how we're going to run it, how we could communicate with farmers. I put it out there online. They can take it around with it. You know what I mean? Everybody in here knew. We put it out there. I put a whole game plan out there on how people were asking us, what are we going to do different? And I printed it out, post it, and show them how we're going to do it different. How we're going to communicate with farmers different. 
what are we going to use? What resources are we going to use to make the association more effective? They can take it and run with it because it's still on. It's still there. But I, I, see, I think what I'm doing now and what I see mm -hmm. Mackie doing with helping farmers around them, we can do be more effective by doing that at this stage because we cannot get anything out of the association. We can't even get a general meeting to challenge. Okay. We don't know what the, we don't know what the the, the the bylaws of the association is. We don't know nothing. So okay. I just say, you know, let's move on from that and do this where I can actually control the flow of information. You know what I mean? Did I have Anthony in? Oh, I got to add Anthony. He's on. Um, Come on, here guys. We go. This is Anthony, folks. Anthony is one of those, what do I call him? He has the most insightful responses to <laughs> questions on Facebook. <laughs> like, he is the guy who will disagree with you, but agree with you. And sometimes I have to scratch my head and say, okay, Anthony, are you disagreeing or are you just taking a different point of view? But welcome, Anthony. Welcome. And I don't know how long you've been attending to the team, but uh, we'll be throwing some questions in a minute. I think somebody okay, asked no a question about milking. Can you repost that milking question? Um, I, need to, I need to know that milking question because I need... I need to answer that. Somebody was asking about milk. Judy, did you see that? I need to address that. I can't skip that over because we're going in into milking our farm. And I wanna I'm excited to talk about it. Oh, I think I found one. Okay, all right. I was asking about at what point do you start making the, the, the mother? Um, there's different, many different approach to milking um, dairy goat. Pro commercially, the kids don't even suck on it once. The kids born, the kids come off the mother immediately. The kid is fed colostrum from a bottle. And there's two reasons for that. They want to control all the milk from the mother. And second, they don't want to transmit any seal, which we know as abscess or whatever. They don't want to trans transmit any, transfer any of that from the mother to the kid if the mother ever had it. So, but for us, because we're a small time and we're just starting, we, what we do is after a month, we start milking the mother. And now we're in the process of separating the mother and the kid overnight. Nobody getting no sleep around here lately, but we're suffering through it because I think we're trying to develop a system where we can get the first thing in the morning. Tonight is a quiet night because I haven't heard anybody. So we've been doing this a week now, Trudy. Yeah, we've been doing this a week, and I think finally the kids were like, okay, what's going to happen? We're going to have to deal with it till the morning, so let's just quiet down and bundle up. But um, we've been milking, and Trudy has been using milk. She had a big uh, what is it? soap making thing this week with uh, Farmer to Farmer International Organization, and Ruby is wants milk from us and she wants milk to make the load and then all that stuff. And we got four bottle babies. So every bit of milk we can get from these animals we're utilizing it. So there you go. There if, if the question that's how we do it and you can try it yourself. But the best time to milk the goat is in the morning. If you want maximum you have to take the kid off overnight. If you don't live on the farm, 
then it's no worries. You just do that and then go home. But if you live on the farm, it may be a sleepless night. Um, okay. Let's see if there's any other question. Uh, hey, nobody wants to know. What do you say, Peter? Anthony need a ear cut. You realize a ball man will run the show. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he come drive with a big head of ear. I like, have done that one this mo morning. <laughs> oh, good. I don't think. I think he just lined you up. He didn't take nothing. This is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so Mr. Henry has this comment where he says, Truth be told, members are also ungrateful and have a crab in a barrel mentality. Who wants to take that? Anthony. Go. We're talking about the association. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So so initially my my, my outlook and everything was us to uh, actually try to make this work by becoming members and be a part of the process. Because I believe everybody have an opinion. But I also believe that everybody, um, um, the association is bigger than us as individuals. And I believe that if we are all a part of it, then we could maybe start some change in the right direction. The problem is, I think, the culture that it, within the, the association is causing um, what, whoever goes in the association to basically just become a part of the norm of doing basically nothing progressive. I haven't seen anything being done. So I too um, is kind of doubtful as to what the future holds in terms of um, what's next. I remember um, last year this time when we were having discussions about the association and we wanted new presidents and all of that. Um, we had a lot of input and people were discussing what we are going to do next and so on and so forth. And people came out with agendas and so on. And then for one full year, nothing took place. I feel now at this point that um, what is happening in the association is bigger than us as individuals. And um, it's going to be very, 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 very hard to make a change at this point. I believe we have to go in another direction. We have to try to move this industry forward and reform the, the, the association from that direction, yeah? So the selfishness uh, over the years, we really don't know what's been happening, but what we know is there's no accountability, yeah? And um, we can clearly say, in terms of leadership, there's nobody leading this association forward, because even after the discussions that we had our last year, everything remained the same. Everything remained the same, so... Um, for me, um, whatever is happening in the association has to happen separate and apart from what we are doing um, in terms of growing the industry right now, at this point. I don't see any progress. Last year, a lot of persons came forward and they put their money. Uh, Mr. Lincoln can attest to this, that I was one of the persons who was batting for the association because I thought, um, yes, the association is not in good standing, but the way forward is to be a part of it, and then initialize the change. At this point, I can't say that anymore because I, too, is one person who paid money and expected to be contacted. And it, it took one year for that to take place. At this speed, I don't think anything can be accomplished in terms of development of the industry. So where I'm standing is let us, let us come together as farmers. Let us grow this industry separate and apart from the association, let us be such a force that we cannot be ignored. Anthony. Well, that's what I think. I, I, I'm sorry, Anthony, did they contact you? No contact year? was made. No contact was made. So, so you see, Ray, and yeah. they let it seem like it's just me. That I am the problem. I remember yeah. Anthony, I remember Anthony come to me and reach out to me and I want away. And he's like, Corey, I'm begging you, done it. 
You understand? I yes, said, fair enough. And if I'm lying, Anthony could count it. I remember when I paid, the first person who I sent the receipt to was Anthony. Yeah. Um, because Lincoln and I had a lot of conversation about this. Because Lincoln is one of the one of the um the stakeholders in this industry that we can say has impacted this industry in a big way since he came in. And I'm saying, right? We at the time I was saying we can't have Lincoln on the on the forum pulling in one direction, the association pulling in the next, and then this becomes a cat fight. And then at the end of the day, nothing gets done, right? So I was trying to get Lincoln to understand that we need to be a part of the process to make the change. So I was not really trying to, I was not, I was not trying to say that the association is the best way to go or the association is in good standing. I was trying to figure out a way forward. So Lincoln and I was on the phone for hours that night. And I was saying, you need to be a part of the process. He told me at that time that, listen, if I go ahead and make this payment, I am going to show you that they are going to do nothing. Yeah? And this is one hour later we are having the same conversation. Yeah? So if it, there was supposed to be an election, I don't hear anything about that. So I don't, I don't hear anything about a mandate in place. I don't even know if the association is registered. So... What, what we don't want, though, what we don't want is we don't want farmers to have one side and them to have another side, the association members to have another side, or the association leaders, I should say, to have another side. And then this becomes an a online tug of war. Yeah, we I'm don't want me. this to get barbaric. What we need to do is we need to focus on what we need to do to grow the industry, and that's it. Anthony, when I paid, did I send you a copy of the receipt? Immediately. Okay. You did it after, yeah, you, you did. Okay, okay so does you. anybody know if the association is a recognized body of the government of Jamaica? I can tell you this much to this question. I know that they are recognized as a a representative of small ruminants. I don't know what standing they have, but I know they're recognized because they're constantly being um, included or invited to launches or things that are happening from the agriculture, from the Ministry of Agriculture when it comes to these things. Pretty a large May unit had them there. Um, I actually get to interview um, Bishop Welch because of the association because um, the president went to the meeting and he called me and said, this guy is a good guy to be on the show. So I know that they're recognized. I know that they get invited to stuff. I don't know if it's because of connections or because they actually, I don't know if they're not in the public eye for people to say, yo, we got to have these people at the table. So I assume that it's a historic thing where they're always there. They're always on the record of somebody to call to represent this sector. Um, as far as somebody said about sheep in a barrel thing, the crab in a barrel thing, um, I, I would not. I would refrain from calling farmers and people crab in a barrel if you don't have a mandate. You don't have a mandate of how you're going to service these people, then Jamaicans and a whole just want what they can get. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're going to say, yo, we can get some free feed and give it to someone, they're going to want it. But if you put forward and say, this is what I expect of you in order for you to get the benefits of what's going on here, then that's a different story. All these giving away feed and all them things, nobody have to do nothing to get it. They just have to contact two men and go pick up two bags of feed. There's no requirements. Nobody's doing anything to benefit. So, of course, that's the norm. High Pro give us some feed. For, say, for, for them, good grace, and say, then give us some feed. Or Nutramix, give them some feed for an event or whatever. For them, for them good grace, we say, yes, we're supporting. 
But I don't call that support. I call that handout. And it trickles down. Trickles down to the little man to the event and get a bag of feed and feel good because it really it, it helped him say not to spend one, two, two to buy feed. But that is not growth. That is not supporting a sector. That is not having a plan of how to move the sector forward. You know what I mean? There's got to be benchmarks. There's got to be things you have to tangibly do. Like, there's got to be tangible things that people got to do in order to receive these benefits. You know what I mean? You can't just say, you have three goat or four goat, and then your man can get a bag of feet. No, we got to be in communication and build a, a thing for you to benefit. If you remember, then you got to show that you're serious as a member, as a good farm. Be a member all you want, but you want the benefit. You want somebody to come on your farm and do an assessment and help. Show us that you're actually serious about it. Else you not get a bag of feed. That's how I see things. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm asking too much, but I'm only about the people them who wants to move it forward. I don't plan to dismantle the association. I plan to go around them. Like them <laughs> the devils. That's my plan. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Them that's, broke down that, that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do, yeah. <laughs> you know that's what I mean? What that's how do. I view the association. The association is a lot of it broke down from the side of the road. And we are go around them. That's how, that's how I see it. I'm being honest. You know what I mean? There's no ill will. I don't know no bad feelings to nobody. You know, when you guys saw Mr. Bernard come here with his family and do this thing, I don't have nothing against Mr. Bernard. But as an organization, they're dysfunctional. They, I don't even think they're an organization. They just have a name. You know what I, I mean? I, 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 I think that's where people take it wrong because I, I admire Mr. Bernard. I, I, I said it. I think the man is a great... I love the idea with his kids going to the farm. I love it. The man is a great family man and I respect that. And you can be a great family man that doesn't mean you're a great leader. I, I will never question the man. I question his leadership. Give me a minute, guys. All right. I'll take you off for now. Um, here's the thing, the, and people remember the last time when I the only time I interviewed Mr. Mr. Bernard, Mr. Bernard, you know what I mean? Like as a person, I think he's a decent man. He's respectable. He's always respectable to me. He comes here with his family. I really like that about him. But when I interviewed him, he did not know when the next general meeting was. And he was the president. He was coming on the thing to talk about, he was coming on this show to talk about the association. And I let him know in advance that we did a, we did, remember back then I was doing a, a list of questions that I was send to my participants because it, it was a discussion like we're having now. So I don't want no surprises. He didn't know when the meeting, when the general meeting was. And I said it to him on the thing. I'm like, you're the president and you don't know, so you're just going to wait till somebody call you and say, yo, next week is the meeting. And that, for me, says everything about the association. Because nobody's really taking charge of it. I guess the only part of it they control is the money part. Because uh, they, they always can tell you we shall deposit the money. But Ray, everybody know that there was Lincoln and Chickstar. There, there was no distinguish between Lincoln and Chickstar. Everybody know. They also told us that we, we never have to come to Jamaica. Our workers, we could pay it in our workers' name. Now, everything was paid in chicken name. Chicky never have a job. Everything is me provided. So that's why they're going around saying that I am not a member because it was paid in Chicky name. Now, Ray, honestly, 
Who in this goat industry? Chicky's dead. If Chicky dead and they get paid, how is that possible? You see, these are just the, 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 the thing that they throw out there. You have to wonder. Chicky's dead. I don't know Chiki what's going on with the association. And as I said, they're broken down. They're mo they're, we're going around them. Mr. Peter, you want you to add something to this? Yeah, um, we can talk about the past till we turn blue and not, not a change. Uh, what you just said, you had make some changes on your end. Uh, Mark, you make some changes and support the farmers on his end, right? So let's continue to work that base until um, until something turn up with the association. We do need a association, as you said, to, for the government representation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I just want to plug the feeding. So what what we're doing with the feeding, Lincoln and I, um, with the feeding, is we need the support from the farmer. So when the farmers are calling me and say, get the association involved, and I said, this is no politics in this. This no. is a, a end user business, all right? And we have the feeding company that's willing to work with us, right? They're stepping up. They're offering something that the association said them try and feel. So I was quite surprised when we got to where we are as a Friday, and I said, Outside, them feel, and within a week, we are able to achieve something. So, farmers, if you're listening out there, send your numbers in. Let this program be successful. So we all win. We are the end user. So that's what I wanted to add to that. Right, uh, uh, Andre. We are not mm -hmm. asking. We are not asking the feed company for nothing. As far as feed company have expense. What is going on in the in the feed industry is global. It's not unique to Jamaica. It's everywhere in the world. Now, I I, I think we we could save money. For example, I could I could walk from my farm to Maypen. So if if I take a taxi, it would cost me less than five hundred dollars to go and pick up the feed and carry it back home. Versus going down to Ransbury. I pay like three thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's a huge saving because almost every one of us, if you go to your feed store, you cannot get the feed. Try, try get free choice mineral and tell me how it works out. You have the order. <laughs> it's it's a lot of issue in the distribution and where the feed is going. And yeah. there's a markup, and, and which I, I'm not sure of that markup. There's a markup from the from the feed company. I, I know the feed company get a a, a ten percent discount because Lincoln gone. We lose Lincoln. Yeah. Internet cut off on him. It must be. Well, I'm back now. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Lincoln. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, plus they are doing their markup. So we are saying that let us see if we can get that. That ultimate goal is can we get that 10%? Yeah. You understand? So our feed mm -hmm. don't go. To me, our feed, the only thing I would like us to do is to go to the, the, the retail store to pick it up. And this is something what I, I think I want to have that discussion with, say, Nutrimix and saying, guys, it is about time that you move the operation online. So I could stay in New Jersey and order the feed and pick it up at a store. They won't do that. They don't own the store. No, but you can build relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship can build. There's, there's nothing you cannot do in business. Mm -hmm. It's their feed. Because, they are, for example... If I drop the container by Peter House and the farmer come by Peter House and pick it up, how much money does this store get? Not one penny. Suppose the feeding drop by 
the, 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 the store. And they charge us $50 for each bag extra. How much do they get? They get fifty dollars. No, keep give and take their uh, storage and uh, and there are labor costs that involved. But these are stuff that can be worked out. It can be worked out. And well, here's here's the thing, Lincoln. I proposed because in our case, when I was working as full disclosure, we were working with Khalil on this new ration and helping him launch this new ration. I had a lengthy discussion with them about online purchases, right? Where there's a superstore, hyper superstore. And you should be able to go online, order what you want from the superstore, because we all know a lot of the things you can only get at the superstore. Yeah. But if you go online and order it, they should be able to send that in a van the next day to your local farm store. You go pick it up. Yes. And the storm, and, and they may be a processing fee that is the, the, the store will charge or they will charge the administration fee, whatever, to cover that stuff. But cheaper than if a farmer if you get in a taxi or drive all the way exactly. to, exactly. to, 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 high, to the superstore. Not, not not only that, Ray. There's a cost that's associated with leaving the farm. Yes. Every second you are not on the farm, that's lo that's lost productivity. Mm -hmm. What cost do you put on it? Yeah, and that's why it's important. I know, trust me, Jamaica is not unique. Them little farm stores are going to go out of business eventually if they, they do not adapt the system where the mothership is sending them stuff to distribute. They remind yeah, me of the pharmacy. The, they remind me the of the pharmacy. Yeah. When, I, when yeah. I just went to New York, pharmacy was all over the place. Look at small mom exactly. and pop's pharmacy. All mm -hmm. of them is over. Yeah, that's we exactly have, what's going to happen. We have to get, we have to move. And we they got the benefit. Because... They have the benefit of these local farm stores all over the island, so they can actually set up an e-commerce system where people order, and in two days you go pick it up at your local farm store, and the next and, day you go pick up a local farm store. And I, yeah. I, I think, I think people keep saying, "Oh, they are independently owned." Listen, I don't want to hear that they are independent. There's a relationship between them and the feed company. It's a relationship. Yeah. As long as open the line of communication and say, guys, this is where the, this is where the industry is going. <coughs> Here's the numbers, what we are looking at. The sales of goat feed have increased from 5% 10 years ago. It's, it's now at 80% increase. There's a great demand, but this is what they are requiring. This is what they're asking for. Yeah, I think it's a new, it's a thing, man. It's where, it's where the economy is going. It's where your the, the relationship between consumer and, and businesses are going online. So they have, yeah, they have the network. There's mom and pops little farm store all over Jamaica, and they're they're aligned to to feed companies. I mean, in Highgate, there is a hyper store right next to a Nutramix store, right? So if you want to order something hyper, you should be able to go on their site and order it. And in a couple of days or the very next day, it should be in the store Highgate if you want it. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Just say, they should just... They just say, yo, which, which what's your pickup location? I get farm store. See, they boom. Yeah, this will never pick it up. And it can be done. It can be done because they have the network. The farm they stores the are all over the place. If you can go drop off feed there every twice a week, everything they all have the stuff, network. you can have a van that delivers small products like medication, like gloves, like anything you need on the farm. They should a van can drive around Jamaica and deliver that stuff. <laughs> because it's not a business yet. We, we are not attacking it as a business. 
You see, you make a very valid point. That's what I was pushing for originally, for using the farm store. But what I understand, because they're independently owned, they weren't able to do that, right? So this is where the cluster come up now, where they drop off the container at the central point and pick it up from there. So I cycle for the lesser of the two devil, right? You know? Yeah, I understand so, I understand the I understand the volume there, Peter. I understand the volume. With the cluster thing, I don't know if the feed store will be able to handle it because of the volume. But the smaller items like mm -hmm. so Henry's asking now, how would the store, the local store benefit? The local store would benefit because Hypro would have a deal with them where they pay them an admin fee or a processing fee or a holding fee or whatever fee. it is. A yeah. dispensing fee. Exactly. It's Thank cheap. you, Peter. It's still, it's still cheaper but, than you taking a taxi from Highgate to, to Kingston. Yes, to Kingston. Or may I have to wait a week when I go, when I go at town, can I have a thing planned for God town? So I'm just exactly. going to run through and get it. No. If I need it now, I know that, yo, mm -hmm. I can just go online and order it. I get it tomorrow, and it's cheaper than me driving to town or hiring exactly. a taxi to go to town. Okay. Exactly. And it's just, That's a yeah. new saving. It, you know, it, um, it's just like I needed MP, um, the pre-starter. I had to go to town to get it. It, it wasn't in the list I need mineral choice. I had to go yeah. to town. And, I need lamb and ram. I had to go to town and get it. Exactly. Right? You should be able to order that online and, and say, yo, you know what? And they say, okay, you go, it's going to be in the local store. You can click drop down menu, your store. Yep. It's going to be there in a couple of days. And I perfectly and understand that. Ray, I perfectly understand that these stores are independent. I understand. However, yes. They are relationship that is built. That's the same reason why they didn't want to give. That's the same reason why they don't want to give discount on the feed because it's, it damages their relationship with the local exactly. store. They openly tell you that. They openly tell you they don't want to give you that discount or that mass purchase because it damages their relationship with the local store, and they need the local store. But wait a minute. So, Who's the end user? That's my point to all of this. We are the end user, right? But so, before this, they were all telling me, no, I have a pro tutor mix about that were bulk purchase, you know, and they would not do it because it would affect their relationship with the local store here in Highgate. Okay. So obviously there's a relationship. And I am simply saying that let us use that relationship and see how we could make the system more effective, more efficient, the system could be more efficient. The feed company could make money. We could make money. Um, you know how many people would purchase smaller items online if they know they can pick it up at the, at the store in Port Mariano, not at the store, the Ike store, wherever it is, the Gill store, wherever it is, they can right. go pick it up. They can set a tip on them for sending a taxi go pick it up in locally than just go to town or go to, to Spanish town. Ray, mm -hmm. let me explain how bad it is. It's cheaper for me to buy something in the state and ship it to Jamaica than maybe put Tanisha on a taxi and send her to Kingston. Okay. Okay, yeah. Mr. Henry, I am not saying it will not cut their margin. What I'm saying is the store can charge Hypro a dispenser fee, which would actually be the same profit margin. Well, it depends if they're being fair that they would make if they stock the item themselves. It would be the same thing. If they're going to make a hundred bucks or 200 bucks or 500 bucks on that product, that's what they charge Hypro. To, okay. To, to so uh, I want to, uh, Mr. Henry, may I ask your question now? Um, are you is boosting up the retail store now. You are buying from them you now, right? You're not cutting them out. You're at a different category, right? Your usage is certain amount. So we're the one who go there and we buy. Like I look at what I purchased last month, two hundred and twenty-five bags of keep, right? That guy in Linstead was able to hold my price. 
below sixteen hundred dollars for poor and sell, where in 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 uh, in um bike sale it's close to eighteen hundred dollars for that, right? You know, so why am I shopping at that store? I am saying we're in a different category now. We are not buying five bags of feeding. You are doing your chicken, you're not buying two bags of feeding. So you should have access to that. So we have to look at it from a different point of view. Where they gonna where they gonna get in the future, other people are gonna start mixing their own feed. As Ray just mentioned very elegantly that we can have product to their the stuff that's sitting in the warehouse not being sold. Right? The llama ram, all the things can be added value for them. They can say increase in sale, right? We can cut out the dye who are mixed feeding, right? There's so much avenue in there. And if they come full, guess what? A lot of people from there that feed it up and they jump on bunk bunk water and increase their sales, right? It's a competitive market, right? So we can't look at that store. And, and Ray, I think what happened also in a store, store need traffic. The feed, the feed store need traffic. The fact that you are going there to pick up, let's say, a bottle of benzene. If they have other product, there's a good chance that you may buy the product. Correct. Because they're getting traffic. Yes. They need traffic. Yeah, it's that simple, Mr. Henry. What I'm saying is, I'm not talking about the big bulk of feed. That's a whole different conversation. I'm talking about online commerce where you can get medication, supplies, and all that stuff, and it goes through the local farm store. Not you have to drive to Kingston to get it. That's the stuff I'm talking about. You know what I mean? The, the feed thing, I see where they're going with this because it's important for them that if I start supplying them on down the road with the feed, then it becomes a problem for their local suppliers. But if I'm order, if I'm using, you know, I mean, three, four ton of feed a month, why do I have to get that from the feed, from the feed store? Exactly, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. I it shouldn't have to get that from the feed store. That should be something that they could make a special delivery for me based on the fact that that's volume. Like, the fact that if I get that from the farm store, I have to hire a truck to go get it. Right. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Do you want to build the, the, the medium farmer, small farmer, or do you want to just... Have people go buy five bag, ten bag, five bag, ten yeah. bag. Then there's no growth. Very, very well said. We got there's no growth. growth. Yeah, yeah. There's no growth if that's what you want from me. Mm -hmm. Everything and, would be stagnant. And yeah, I, I think the retail store was set up on a model that was fifty years ago or whatever. Things yeah. change. We are, we, are, we are heading in a new direction and we have to adapt to these changes. Oh. Yeah. We have to. Nobody, nobody's writing letter no more. You understand? Maybe we, we should send to. maybe we should send Mr. so he can come up. Judy. Maybe we should send Mr. Henry. Link. Yeah. So if he wants to come on, he can come on and speak. I'd love to have him come on. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's on the Jamaican phone. He's on the Jamaican phone. Because I would love for him to come on and give us his point of view. Because he's, he's dropping some some uh, very good comments and, and uh, responses, and we Guys, want him to, to report. I, I, I think we cannot thing. continue. We cannot continue doing business the way we're doing it. No, and exactly. expect, and expect that's change. for sure. That's for sure. We and we have to find point. creative ways. We have to find creative ways to save money, mm -hmm. and it's in the best interest of 
the farm store, for, for, uh, uh, the feed company for me to save money because I buy more feed. It's in the best interest of me. We have to start to look at this thing as a business and how we make the thing more efficient. Currently, it is not. Why should somebody in West... Imagine you are in West Milan. You have to go to Kingston to buy, buy benzene. Why the buy benzene cannot be sent to West Milan? Are you pay a stacking fee? Why? Make no sense. You know how much feed you can buy for that transportation cost? It's true. And, and I think for sure that they can do it. It it's can be done. That people, they just stuck in the old model. It you know what I mean? Done. You know how, how empowering it, it, it could be for a small, medium farmer to know that he can get access to all these things. He may just cost him an extra 100 or $500, but he, he does not have to go to Kingston. Every time people are sending a message about, oh, what do I give goat this? What do I give goat this? Oh, you give them this. Where do I get that? Hyper, hyper uh, super store. Hyper super or, store. Yeah, hyper super store. And I'm gonna say, so I'm not gonna go to Kingston to another month, you know, I can't, I'm not gonna go to Kingston and them something. If there was an online thing, we just send them on. I say, yo, all right, yes, sir. And, and it will show you which art if you go pick it up by your local, the local, the closest local store to you. Great. Everything. Everything. And, and guess what? You don't even have to put it. You do not even have to put it. And the hyper truck. No, there's not. You can have express a that. No, there's, for no, there's, listen. Yeah. Not for I, I, I said, deliver all over Jamaica. I send stuff to Sentan. Anybody traveling to Jamaica? I send stuff to Sentan. I send stuff to West Milan. And guess where where the stuff end up? Right at the gate of, of Canaanites. Yeah. And it's still yeah. cheaper. It's still cheaper. Than me going to high pro. Yeah, it's cheaper for me to send product from from the United States to Jamaica than for me to leave my farm and go to Kingston. Yeah, trust me. Okay, here's my Mr. Henry. I'm gonna get him on to say to explain to us his point of view. Mr. Henry, welcome. Welcome, folks. This is Henry. You guys are familiar with him. He did that um, presentation for us a few weeks ago on the insurance stuff, and then talked about his farm. Uh, so, okay, Mr. Henry, give us your point of view. We're not trying to kill a little farm store. No, we're trying to get them upgraded into the online e-commerce system. All right, you guys can hear me. Yes, you yes, can hear Mr. you. Henry. All right, yeah, man. Don't get me wrong, in you know, it, guys. I totally get what you're saying in terms of moving forward and, and revolutionizing the way feed is delivered, right? But mm -hmm. then you, you have to argue both sides of the spectrum. No, fair enough. And my theory is to the farm stores, to, to the, not the farm stores, to the, the, the major feed guys, um, J and, and and C or N. Feed is the golden golden child. That's what makes the money for them. Now, if Ray is in St. Mary and Ray does five ton of feed every month or every week, right? The, the, the volume compared to what the farm store will, will order from them is less. And it's easy for mm -hmm. them to just send it to the farm store, drop it off there, and keep it moving. Whether the feed seller or not, the farm store has to pay the bill. So they're making that money. Fair right? enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, when these guys sit in their meeting and work out, all right, um, Peter, next quarter we need to make three billion. How are we gonna squeeze it? How are we gonna make it? Martin, yes, as, as Lincoln said, there is a global issue with feed and ingredients of feed. So naturally, there's gonna be increases in feed time. But a lot of the increases too is because they're increasing their margins on the back of the small farm. And where are you going though? Peter, you have so many pigs. Ray, you have the goats. Well, not even goats, because we have alternatives to feed goats. But when they know mm -hmm. that you know, it's of mixing your feed and you have to buy the bag feed. whether it's two hundred dollar or three thousand can you not let your animals die it's the same thing with layers you buy you spend 1.3 million dollar buying a thousand dollars 
You have to see them. No matter what they have, they have to do. Now, the unfortunate thing is that the relationships they have with the farm store, whatever percentage they give them, whether it's 5% or 10% or whatever based on the value, the farm stores are independently owned. And their mandate is to make a profit. They also know you have to buy the beef with all that. And put their margin on it. Now, with your suggestion of you go online and you order whatever it is, them send out a high-end bus from um, the farm store, work with a road to the farm store, where are you? Charge an administrative fee, a 24-hour holding fee, um, a five-ton of fee, maybe you make about 10 grand. The farm store man who is independent going to say, but this doesn't make sense. Because that same five-ton of feed would have made me 20 grand if Ray had to come buy it from me. So many of them are bored with that. And how do you fix that? Because... Your suggestion helps the farmer cuts out the middleman, which is fine. That's the that's really where we want to go for our farmers. But then it adds an extra headache and logistics for high tech because they're successfully dropping off of food. They're, sick, they're, they're sick with moving that volume of food. When they send out a, a, a vehicle to, 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 to um, Lincoln's farm store in Carindon for five tons today, and then tomorrow, an expert's other another farm store. That's another vehicle going out with transportation and driving and all that again. When they just drop one trailer down the top, the farm can pay them for the volume anyway, whether it's seller or not. And then forget about that. Okay, so you see how you explain that? It's a perfect example of them don't care about growth. They just care true? about selling but, the feed. But that's the reality. Okay, but forget, forget, forget about what the reality is. What do you want? Mr. Henry. Look at it, Look at the goat industry. Look at the goat industry. We have the alternative to feed goat hay and grass. Right? No. Okay, forget about goat. Mr. Pete, Peter is a pig farmer and he had the biggest no, problem. No, but I get into pig. I get into pig. Right? Now look at the pig industry in comparison. It's a similar business, you know? And that's why when, when Peter did his presentation on his farm and everything, and I asked him, how is he going to do the goats? And he says a similar thing, you know, just, they'll be confined and feed will go to them and that sort of thing because you can raise goats intensely just like how you raise feed. And he has a perfect business model in place and you get the results. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But why, why, we don't have a, why we don't have a full strum um, for goats? Why we don't have a, a goat starter? Why we don't have a goat lactation? Why we don't have a goat just lactation? Because they don't see the monetary value in investing in developing it. Because yes, when they raise the price on the farmer, they can come back cut grass and cut hay. Your, your phone, your phone, so like it's underwater. It's breaking up. Mr. Henry, Mr. Yeah, Henry, I I perfectly understand your point and you make some valid points. But let me tell you something. Lincoln going out of business. The feed company they don't make a penny. They do. No, Lincoln. No, Link. If 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 we go out of business, they are losing yeah. money. If Ray go out of business, they are losing money. You know what happened? You know what happened when you go to business, Lincoln? Yeah. That extra hundred thousand dollars they get from you is spread across the other farmers who can't afford to go to no, business. No, but 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 guess what? They did. We we operating in a global economy, you know. But that's and, the sad truth, you know. And and we have this we have this model in Jamaica that. I, I don't want to raise price. I don't want to call him, right? But then, if you look at how one set of people raise feed versus the other set of people, you realize a trend where one set is always cheaper, you know, and the other set they lose customer base to the next to the competitor. But guess what? Because their price is so high, the margin that they make is spread over who remains, because you have. For, for lack of a better term, a loyal client base or customer base through whatever relationship. Uh -huh. And, that, and that's, just how they juggle it. That's, just, that's just how they juggle it. So when you that's say, all right, here what? May I come out of business in a minute? No, but I'll be pig or whatever it is. And you say, all right, them, them lose my $100,000 a month. But then next quarter, them raise fee four price, four times, well, and then raise it by $100. Yeah. That margin well, Mr. Henry, is still good. Mr. Henry, they said the same knife that stick the sheep and that stick the goat. Uh -huh. If if Pete Price drive me out of business, how long before you think he's gonna drive Pete out of business? He can't drive everybody out of business, and that's where no, the hedging the better. No, no, because guess what? It, it, it's we cannot because 
it comes a time when it's cheaper to ship, it's cheaper to buy import stuff than to produce it. But that, that's, that, that, that was my original point. What is the collective view on making your own feed? Getting your formula from SRC, get the TR, TMR, and make your own thing. Buy the ingredients from them, although, although they might have a strong arm with and start selling the ingredients expensive. But that's the only alternative. Because the reality is, the, the, if you, all right, I'm in the corporate world and I'm in farming. And every day I go to work, sometimes I hear man, man, boy, a good pay I talk about, boy, I wish I was like you, you no know, more. I have a farm, I jump in a farming. And you have a few of them who jump in. But not everybody sit down around the numbers and realize, say, oh, 80% of my cost of feed, and may I get raped. And by the time they realize and come out, they replace the money that you lost, that that, 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 that feed company lose from a, a, a Lincoln and lose from a, a McCook. Because there's a not, the next line of people lining around thinking that, oh man, jumping a farming because they make money or whatever it is. No, and the, but, it continues to revolve. Mr. Henry, let's, let, let's take the goat industry, for example. No place I've seen people much more in, misinformed than in the goat industry, as far as from a business point of view. Mm -hmm. I, have, I, I think that there's a new trend going on where we are, we are starting to re-educate people about things. You understand? Mm -hmm. even, even today I see a discussion and, you know, a, a young man was talking about a pregnant goat and I am not paying no premium price on a pregnant goat. I'm valuating yeah. the goat by himself. Yeah, the goat. yeah, the goat pregnant as well. If the goat pregnant, to God be the glory. But it, mm -hmm. to me, I don't care. And I'm not paying a penny more for it. In fact, I want a discount. You understand? That's me. Now, there's a lot of education out there about goat that never exists before. Mm -hmm. And I think once we start to have Peter McCook, is starting to do a, some powerful series about pig. People already start to take, it's just like when I get into the goat. Marketing was not a big thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? I don't think anybody can question whether or not marketing have changed within the goat industry. People are starting to be more educated. And I'm telling you, when you have educated people making decisions, whether we like it, yes or no, change is going to happen. And I am simply saying that whether they feed or the retail, they have to start to... Peter, look. I got you on mute for a second because of the feedback loop. They're going to they're gonna have to start to have serious conversation. I said, where, where are we going? Because before, it used to be my grandmother raised a, a, a goat. No, it, that's not the case. Ray Lee from Canada, all his experience, whatever, and he's bringing into it. Yeah, but it don't, that don't change the fact, um, Lincoln, that the feed is the major moneymaker for them. Yes. Okay, and, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. The feed is what they're using, is what anchors the business when it comes to livestock, right? Whether it's whether you have to have graze them or you have to pin them up and feed them. The issue that I'm having is are, are the feed companies looking out for the growth or are they just looking out for the bottom line? Are they yes. short-sighted? Are they short-sighted in today looking for what the profit margin is today or looking at what the profit margin could be 10, down, 10 years down the road if they multiply the numbers in such sector? For example... <laughs> If it's good sector and they grow that at two, three hundred percent over two, three years, that's more revenue for them. It's the or same. they're just looking at it today and say, yo, well, we can make this this quarter, next quarter, whatever. Yeah, because because it's the same reason why Jamaica government don't take agriculture serious. When COVID dropped last year and, and hotel industry get nothing. Everybody start run to agriculture and say, boy, we can't do this and we can't do whatever it is. And it, it, it's short-lived. 
you need to rather than willing to give the farmer them a couple bags of fertilizer and that sort of thing instead of establishing markets for them and helping them to sell at a consistent price and produce where they can buy them fertilizer. The government don't really take agriculture serious. And, okay, and Peter, 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 all right, we're looking at this the wrong way, right? What are we trying to do? Increase the numbers. Who are we trying to sell this to, right? The, the, it's not about knocking out the, um, the, those guys. We're trying to grow the numbers. Like for me now, my goal is 800 takes a year, right? And then... Um, then we look at the board. This year, much try to, if we can get 50, I'm happy. So what is that? That's called growth, right? So when you do growth, right, then everybody wins. Okay, we're not trying to knock out the farm store. Everybody agreed that the farm store cannot do the, all the volume that we're ordering. So we're saying, people like you, Mr. Henry, People like Lincoln will order a lot of feeding, get a direct delivery to them. Because we're talking about keeping the market stagnant. We're worrying about how that money will do. He has to adjust. The market is changing. Okay. Uh, if the feed price go up, reality is that we're going to have to increase our product price. Like, for example, now, I'm working out on a formula to, based on what I see, the next set of pig bond. I'm not selling it for $9,000. I cannot sell it for $9,000, right? So we have to increase the price. So what we're trying to do, increase the numbers in wood, increase the number in pigs. And guess what? We will have places to sell it for because we're going to the government and say to them, okay, we can produce this amount of product, right? So therefore, lower the import. Right, so we can supply our local market. In return, we're having more animal, more chicken, more goat. So therefore, the feeding company has to produce more, right? So we're looking at it and say, okay, we kick real out of the business. A fifty goat gone. Somebody else go pick up that out of fifty. No, 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 no. We can't look at it like that. We have to look how much what the race start with. Seven. How much red goat have now? 80, I believe, or 75, whatever the number is. There's a growth there. He's using more feeding. So there's a win for everybody. I started so, with six figs. I have 25 sows. I would love to have 40 sows, but guess what? I cannot afford to feed me at this rate to feed them up. I can't afford to have 40 pigs. So but you know what's gonna happen, Peter? Oh yes. What's gonna happen is that at some at, at some time down the line, you're gonna have to have a sit down with with whomever you buy feed from, and then they're gonna present you with an option for them to put a container on your farm or in close proximity. But we so have that, that now. We no, have on that. your farm, on your farm, okay. mm -hmm. branded on your farm in close proximity to whichever cluster is around you and they're going to give you the feed at whatever price and then you're going to either pass that on to the other farmers if you want or no, don't market. Okay. Oh, and that's what I'm working on, Mr. Henry. No, right, that's right. But then now, but now you're, you're, you're becoming, in essence, the same feed farm store. If, no, if you I'm don't not. pass on that price, no. if, you don't pass on that, if you don't pass on your, no, your wait a minute, wait a minute. to the no, farmers, no. Let me then, explain then what we're doing. Okay. Because in terms I, of I, I mean, hold, hold on, Peter. I don't mean to cut you. Okay. I don't mean to cut you. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to your point, but I, I just want to finish what I'm saying, right? So, based on what you're saying with your projected goals of eight, your projected pigs of 800 pigs for the year, right? When you come to them and put those numbers, then the investment with the, the potential feed sales now makes sense to them, for them to now look at you wholly. You know what I mean? Because now you're going to be doing the same numbers of the closest farm store to you. So when they sit down in there, look at office, they're going to say, well, all right, Peter, come to we know and I grow to 800 feet. If, we, if that, that, that translate to 100 bags of feed, the farm store down the road doing 200 bags of pig feed. So now we can hedge our bets and, and invest in growing this person because we're in distribution. And, and that's how they think with the bottom line. 
and, and it comes back to what, what Lincoln was saying that if him run out of business because he can't afford feed, but then in the horizon, they see a Peter developing and coming, and they'll invest in him. Because it comes down to the numbers, guys. That's all it comes down yes. to them. I don't want no no one fool themselves and think say whether it's Jamaica brothers or TV or Neutra Mix. They're lying, come on, no. Because there was an interview last year with one of those major holders where he said, We have maximized the amount of X product we can sell in Jamaica because only 3 million people here. So we have to establish an international market. So when you're talking about limited growth here, its economies are scale. They'll start export. If you look at Nutramix structure, they are vertically and horizontally integrated. They don't have to sell nothing to no, to no external model. They make the feed, them the chicken, them the layer, them the pig, them going into goat, them have the hotel, them have the bakery. They have a full vertical market. So when you however, come out... However, however, um, Mr. Henry, however... They may maximize their uh, their growth based on the different sectors, right? But branding is not maximized. There's many different ways to brand the, the this export or the products that comes out of Jamaica. Yeah, there is, for example, for, no, hold on, hold on. For example, for example, let me stick up in. For example. In Toronto, where I'm from, Mr. Mark, Mr. Mark Hoopman know this station, City TV. The girl on City TV came to Jamaica on vacation. And somebody tell her, for go a Kentucky in Montego Bay, go get a chicken sandwich and fried chicken. And when she ate it, she couldn't believe it's Kentucky she had eat. She got back at Toronto and then I talk about her vacation and she said, yo, there's a KFC in Jamaica in Montego Bay that chicken, that different type of chicken. That, if, if, if Hyper was smart, or best dressed chicken or whoever it is, that is branding to the max. And that is worth way more. Because now you can actually start exporting that product. Instead of being oh. short-sighted and saying, yo, the more chicken can produce at Jamaica, yes, it can. There can so be the more product? poor. What's, there what's the product? <laughs> what's the product, Ray? Because a raw chicken don't taste no way. Oh, you mean the chicken tastes different, Virgin? No. The Jamaican the cook. produce chicken tastes different with the CM KFC ingredients. Is it, is it, That's is it, what is it, the girl is saying. The girl right. is saying across the world, the KFC always tastes the same, except for the Jamaica KFC. Yo, you don't is know that Jamaica KFC tastes different? Is it the chicken or the ingredients? Or how it is the chicken. chicken. It is the fowl. Mr. Henry. They I have, have to use I, the same ingredients have, across the world. It's the fowl. I have some yesterday. I have some yesterday. And I have to say it is different. It tastes different. No, no I agree with you, buddy. No, it tastes different. Worldwide, I know it tastes different. Everybody knows but, the KFC I, from Jamaica. I didn't know. Better. I didn't know it was the chicken itself. I didn't know it was the raw fowl itself. I um, thought it was just how they prepare it. How they see every, it. No, every KFC have to use the same ingredients worldwide. Or else them can't. What kind of fowl they use a foreign name? <laughs> no, but maybe that's why they decide to jump in that market. Exactly. So Maybe that's I'm why they decide to go in that market. So you when, when they say they max up on them skill, now then they max up on them skill. They just gotta think about how do they expand and scale the branding. Because if me But, but them gone with the brand of foreign them gone with the brand of foreign No, but you can't you can't produce a chicken of foreign. You but can't they, produce right, a but I don't know, I don't know. We don't know you know because what you know. The, 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 the fertile egg come from far and come Jamaica and it's hatched here, right? Yes, but the way I mean, the chicken grow here, for some reason, it tastes different with the so same so, ingredients. So, so, so hold on, let's so stick up in it. Mm -hmm. Is it that the ingredients that they import here, would they have a feed mill over there, which is, a, which is less shipping cost to them to make them seem a smaller silo? 
and make them same feed over there and grow them chicken in a tunnel house or something them meat out here. Wait, would I cost them more? If they have to ship the same feed from Jamaica, they have to import no, the no. feed. No, they, 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 make, they make the same little feed meal over oh, there the foreign. Feed. Because, yeah. Because they must but, send the feed from foreign. They must send ingredients from foreign from here. Dude, it could be the air the, the chicken them breathe. I don't know. I don't know no, what man. it is. But the chicken, but, but, the Jamaican chicken, and trust me, me know as a as a as a man that come from foreign and come come back at Jamaica, me know so the chicken don't yeah, taste different. But no, so the KFC out here tastes better. But I don't exactly. know it was the, the raw chicken that's different. Chicken. It is the chicken them. because the ingredient has to be consistent around the world. Jamaican people them can't come up with them own KFC ingredient. And maybe and maybe and maybe that's what them them using to spin off and market up. They say is the same Jamaican whatever brand out here up there. If we can yeah. again market shares over there, maybe yeah. that's what they must spin off and use. Maybe that's what they're doing. But that chicken has to be produced here. In order, well, and that's well, how the government, well. that's how the government is say because, yo, if KFC chicken in Jamaica tastes different, then it's a chicken will make a chicken that makes a difference. Well, and long you and need start, to, long you and need start, to capitalize yeah. on that. The man them say what they make last quarter from, from that investment over there equates mm -hmm. to a, a, a third of them overall budget out here, profit, profit margin out here. So whatever them are doing, that's work for them. Well, they have, more, and, them have um, access to more people, yeah, so they can sell and, more. And, and, but and the point is, they the 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 send, send the grade B and the grade C chicken them out here, egg them out here for we for hatch and grow. And the market suffer. And people still, yo, last year when we got KFC, you know, one chicken leg big like my big finger, you know. <laughs> and we buy yo, the same way. Because the chicken, the KFC chicken, a foreign, the leg. Well, you are by a foreign big like my fist. Virgin, yeah. <laughs> because I'm full of pure hormones, so it doesn't taste the same. All right. Well, well all right. Bro, go when back you to buy chicken breast, yeah, when you buy chicken breast and them thing a foreign man, them big, like you think a turkey I buy. I dry. Anyway, yeah, and dry. Okay, so let's go back to the model. First of all, well, if up. these companies, if these companies are thinking that it's just the bottom line. Then they don't have the growth of what we call agriculture, livestock agriculture in Jamaica, at uh, at their best interest. But I, I don't I don't think they holistically do. Um, Peter, well, you remember well, the point you're making? Well, Mr. Henry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Peter go jump in here. Yeah. Go ahead, Peter. Peter, Peter the I'm reason I'm new is because you, there's a loop when yeah, you're on fine. your phone. And I'm yeah. fine with that. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. fine. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So, so what I'm saying, uh, growth is a key, right? We can look at, uh, my point was, if you look at Ray, you start out with seven growth in 80, what, what says three years, right? Um, I started out with six pigs. I realized there's some endurance, so I, I stopped off at 25, 30. I ordered 10 more coming in because I need a different um, a different uh, bloodline coming in. So I'm going to have 35. I'm comfortable there. But the point what I'm saying is that the only way the feeding company your your point was you're looking at the guy and say, All right, he's not gonna make money. I am saying you stop looking at him, but we're not talking about him. We're talking about businessman like you, we're talking about businessman like Ray. We're talking about people who use 50 to 100 bags of feed, not up, right? Uh, the guys who use 10 bags and can go to the farm store. And that's what the farm store is designed for. There's no changes in the farm store from my grandfather days. Go buy five pound of corn from the farm store, right? Or something to that sort. Where them take a bag and split it, right? Time change. In in those days, if you look at a guy like Ray, myself, Lincoln, and you, them call you a big man. But we're not. We're not just. It's not just me. You can check with the the reps them and then tell you there's tons of people like us out there, and we're forced to buy at the farm store. So only way we're gonna get the feeding at a good price is to show growth. And we have to grow. I'm a perfect example. 
right? There was the 200, 150 to 250 bags of feeding. That didn't exist three years ago, right? So those farm store were, are getting that increase right now. And it's ludicrous for me to pass. I get Fort Maria, Geisel, and go straight to Linstead to get $300, $250 less a bag than in my area. You know, so we have to look for ourselves. So growth is there, right? You have to stop thinking of the the guy who you're buying from. You have to think about your bottom line. How are you going to design your system to get feeding in? Because when may I make my business plan enough, may not think about the farm store enough. I am not because the farm store now think about me. Exactly. You know, so this is why I'm saying we go to the source, right? So we're all for something now. You mentioned about, um, yes, I can get 200 bags of feed and dung. Um, I was talking to Miss Young the other day. I can extend the shelf life on my feed because I had the foresight to say, okay, where am I setting up a business? Jamaica, humidity. I need to keep it done. I put an AC in my feeding room, Right. So my feeding can extend by two more weeks or three more weeks from what the farm, from what it is. But I'm not just thinking about myself, right? I'm thinking about the farmers. So if I, as Ray said, I do theme thing in his, in his corner and then help. I'm doing thing in my corner, but I want to extend it to the other farmers too. So now that I know that, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to turn on the AC and so long the feeding will be. The biggest feeding that would be a concern is the high protein feeding, like the lactation, like the pre starter, right? But it's not everybody has that um, accommodation like I do, right? You know, because I did a research and said, how am I gonna handle all of this, right? I think Miss Young will almost fall off her chair when you tell her, say, never AC in the feeding room, right? But uh, you have to think about these things, right? When it, you're, you're going to have feed and spoil, right? So I'm going to do an experiment and see. But I'm saying, we, I'm thinking of other farmers. And when I do my budget, I don't think of nobody else. I don't think of Ray. I don't think of Lincoln. I think of what I need. I almost scrapped banana and planting the other day, right? But when I looked at what the market is like, and it's going up, when I first started, was $17 a pound for banana. I'm getting $26 a pound for banana. Sometimes I get 28, right? So we put a gradual climb in it. So we said, I'll stay inside of this, right? So the same thing, what I'm saying about the, the feed. The, this discussion is based on somebody like Ray, me, another farmer. Okay, let me just say this. The, the feeding company can do better. Everybody's been quiet. Everybody's been quiet. And I'm not calling out no names or nothing. I know people down in Trelawney. They get direct feeding from the mill. All right? And everybody knows that. So what I'm saying to the feeding company, anybody that does over a certain amount, let's give us a, they came good. I don't know what that 5% is. You know? So I'm going to review the information they give me, and I'm going to present it to everybody, right? So um, we didn't have that before, but it's based on 400 bags of feeding plus 4% uh, off, right? So what is that 4% equal? Yes, Mr. Henry. Yeah, Lincoln. Uh, if, can it, okay. if, if, if you... Let's say you are getting the feed from the from the mill, and you're getting a five percent discount, and you are getting it direct to your farm. Don't it have this? It have the same impact up on the retail store. Yeah. Okay. I am simple saying that an environment can create because we're gonna have no choice. We're going to have no choice based on where things are going. You cannot be paying $1,200 for feed. Ray is paying $1,500. Another person is paying 
how, how does that work? We have to start but, but to Lincoln, think about what if, uh, no, wait, good mm -hmm. farmers. Good farmers need to start to think about good farmers. And we have to stop saying, listen, at the end of the day, I'm a Nutrimix product. I use Nutrimix product because for the simple fact that they provide good customer service to me. Not because of the feed. You understand? Because I, I express how I feel about both of them. Because both of them leave me to die. But Nutrimix provide a better customer service to me. So even if the price is higher, I already factor in the customer service that I am getting. So I stay with them. We have to start, farmers have to start to think about each other. And we, as we, before Mr. Henry, I would never know you. You would never know me. Things have changed. I have never met Peter yet. Things have changed, but we are doing business you know, we are going to say, Mr. Peter, let me sell two of your pig. Ray's having this platform now where they are bringing people together and we can have conversation. It's not if the retail and the, 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 the feed company have to change. They have to. Because of the direction in which we are moving. Yeah, everybody's going to know what everybody's doing. Yeah. The price that but, 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 but Lincoln, you know, say you know, say when you go buy feed at, at hyper super store, it's more expensive than when you go to feed mill. And when you go buy feed at the farm store, it's more expensive than when you go to feed mill. But the feed mill never gives you the discount that they give the farm store. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is that well, they have an online platform that you can universally order from, then it yeah, makes a that, big difference. Yeah, that's convenience and logistics, but it don't affect your price really. Well, of course it does. Yes. It affects your bottom yes. line. So, so the, conversation, affect your bottom line. the conversation that, 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 that you guys need to have is find out how much discount Linstead Factor is getting, whether it's 8%, 7% or whatever it is. And make them give that same discount because they can do better. Uh, Mr. Henry, I, 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 I'm in Mapin. From, from my farm to Maypin, I could walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have to travel to Ransbury. I'm paying 3000 versus 500 That's a big saving. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of logistics. There's a lot of things where we could take with time and make small changes. You understand? No, for, for example, there are other areas that we can tackle. I, I'll give you a perfect example. A bottle of benzene, 500 milliliter. We're paying 6,000. We, 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 we're paying 15,000, over 15,000 in Jamaica. In the state, we pay 600. 6,000. Mm. Now, I understand the cost and shipment, and I understand all of that. However, who is behind, who is regulating us bringing in these things? We have to start to shake down the, is it the feed company? And as, as good farmer, that's why it's important for us to unite and start to shake the tree. And I 100% I agree with that. And, and I'm not going to beat the dead hearts with the association, but this, these no, are no, the no, conversations. No, 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 forget about the association. I'm just simply saying, me and you as, as farmers, we have to start to look. And that's why so much bandoodle things take place because people are saying, boy, I'm going to bring it in the bandoodle way. We have to start to have conversation and ask questions. We have to. Is it the vet? Is it the vet department that is saying, oh, "Okay, I lose a pure"? Let me explain what happened to me. I lose a pure bread because I went to Hypro to get antibiotic. The guy is a full blood. The guy told Chicky, "I don't know you. I'm not selling it to you." From that day, never again will I lose an animal because I don't have medication. 
That's the reality we are facing. How do we change that? We have to start to have some conversation and ask question, why? Why these things? There are lots of stuff that the feed company can do. I understand the relationship. Relationship is everything. However, it has to be in a way where they can go to the feed company and show the feed company where they are going to benefit. Okay, listen. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't care if ten dollars is in my right pocket or is in my left pocket. I don't care. If I could go to the feed company and say, "Listen," not the the, the retail, and said, "Listen, I'm going to show you how to get ten dollars. This is how you're going to get ten dollars." Let us have a conversation. But even even that speed is everything right now. Because yes. if, if I need a bottle of Benevet or whatever and the feed store don't have it, I'm going to say, yo, add that to me. And next week before it come. You get what I'm saying? But if I order it online and know that it's going to be there in a couple of days and the feed store still get them little cut. Still get them little cut? Still get them little cut. You know how much of a big difference that makes for productivity? But 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 you go back to what Lincoln I say, you know, um, Ray, that as farmers, we have a whole that torch and move it forward individually or collectively because and um, I mean guys, I don't want them to get me wrong, you know. I don't know side, but just argue both sides of the fence. No, do we need that other side? We, we need, need that other side to get that deep discussion and ash this out. Yeah. Because the reality I, is, yeah, how how we need how, a retail how store. Much bottle, how, how much bottle of antibiotics sell compared to how much bag of feed? But how many when people are going to order it if they know it's easy to get? No, but when you go in a farm, when you go in a farm store, you know, and you see everything else, like the farm store close to me, you know, them start out sell hardware things. Everything else yeah, that is there is just, is just buy and buy, you know. But what, it's what come down to, it comes down and, to marketing. If but, but Hypro, but, yeah. if Hypro start telling these people, yo, just go on that link here. You can order your benefits. You can order your gloves. You can order your deworm. You can order your syringes. You can order whatever. And it'll be at your local store in two days. You know how many farmers that have 20 goat or 10 goat or whatever it is would do that instead of have to go to the farm store and, and say, yo, no need this, you know, where well, you have to add it, you know, even minerals, okay. even more minerals. Okay. And you have to add it before you forget it. And that's my point, in ants products. So may I ask you something now? Uh, Mr. Henry, how much uh, chicken do you inspect, uh, expect to add to your farm this year? Wait, it was going to be 2,000 layers, but I, I decided not to. All right. So, okay, you, you're going into another direction. How much goat do you, may I ask you a different one? How much goat you, you plan on putting on your farm this year? Uh, maybe another 50 mothers. All right, 50. May I do 50? Yeah, may I prove my point to you now? Ray, I'm sure Sir Ray is going to do another 50 or 30 this year. Or Trudy wants 100. So let's ask Trudy. Don't ask Ray, right? If you can guarantee that they will produce milk, she'll take 200. Exactly. <laughs> but, but my point is that if you talk to everybody, they want their business to grow. And if mm -hmm. I grow the pigs, you grow the chicken, you grow the goat, guess what we're going to need is more feed. And that's how they're going to get their more money by in working with us, right? And we're going to increase their volume, and then they should work with us for us to get the price. We're not asking. If you get $75 less than the, the farm store, would you be happy with that? Yeah. All Mr. Right. Mr. Henry. Mm -hmm. I, Ray, is that I just one second, Lincoln? Just one second. Uh, Ray, you think that's a reasonable dollar value? $75 less? Well, any saving is savings, you know. Especially All with right. that value. That, that, that works back out to the same 4 or 5%. Exactly. So that's what they're offering right now. So uh, why I want to see what the farm store are paying, right? based on what's going on and see if that's 
beneficial for us farmers, I'm going to say, no, can you do better than that, right? But the growth will be there because you hear what I'm saying? I did 400 pigs this year. I'm going to increase my numbers this year. So that's growth. That, and I'm just one guy, and there's bigger guys than me out there. And uh, Ray do 50 goat. You do another 50. Guess what? You're going to buy at least 10 bags of feeding a month, right? Because you want your animal them to look good, right? It's a low, it's not as much as the, I know guys who are doing chicken, right? But Peter, they, you, know what I'm you? you have to get 400 bags for them to give 5% or 4%. Four percent. So right away, it come back down to the number for them, you know? Well, 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 Mr. Henry. So you know, yeah. We, we we have to start somewhere now. We, we have to start somewhere, and, and, and that's what that's what negotiation and, is all about. Because and they'll tell that's you what that. they present yeah. to us. Right, and they'll tell you that too, because I don't know no. the intricacies of what, what goes into making feed, but maybe there are certain days when a certain type of feed is made, and I must have to close down the plant and clean to make another type of feed. So when them get the volumes, it probably work out better for them operational wise. Um, Peter, Peter Mutri. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Go, Go ahead, Peter. Peter. Yeah. We don't. I don't worry about that part. And this, is, I think, a lot of people worry about what the next man I do. I'm looking at the end result for us farmers, right? Yourself, mm -hmm. Lincoln, Ray, and myself, right? Because mm -hmm. there's operation costs. We can't company and say, you know what? Not to buy five bucks of white lime, you know, because you know, the sanitation of the park. They don't worry about that. Or when I sell my animal, um, I spoke to a gentleman, I'm going to call his name, right? I said to him, why do you bring product in to give your goat, I'm sorry, to give your pigs, and it's not necessary? You have everything you need here in Jamaica. And therefore, I might tell Mr. Fiend cost over $5,000 per animal i may look for him and tell him say, my cost is 950 to 1200 for wieners i said how you get four thousand dollars i said go talk to the vet you don't even need to do abc right and and he has a nice facility right and those are the things where we're worrying about making sure it's better than everybody else hey i love ray facility it's beautiful. He's in a different direction. We just want to take, take care of the goat, just as good as our rear take care of him, goat them, record keeping, know when them born, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I look on him facility, right? I mean, I look on his operation, right? My operation is different from another man, right? Mm -hmm. You know? So all I'm saying is that we just got to look how where it's going to take us to increase a couple of hundred for me in pigs, 50 goat, the feed not go up. It's not going to stay the same. The feed go up. Everybody should be looking at Unite and say, you know what? What does the representation of that feed increase? Um, what meat, well, what meat can't go up no more than what it is, right? But pig and chicken has to go up. You understand what I'm saying? Because I think goat meat is overpriced. That's my opinion. $1,200 a pound, $1,100 a pound, you know, that's, it, you know, to me, that's too much. You know, we can't sustain. <laughs> yeah. We are not at the middle of Hey, Peter, at the end of the day, what I'm, what I'm asking for is the support for the growth. Exactly. And facilitating that growth. Exactly. You, know I mean? you companies should not worry about the the farm store mm -hmm. when it comes to growth because exactly. the, the, the landscape is changing so much that they all have to adapt. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's I what happens. Farm store that don't look like a farm store. Because I sell everything over there. Mister Henry, I can't get. I can't get. I can't get a dewormer. Exactly. Mr. Henry, Mr. Henry, yeah. Yeah, when I was when I just went to when I just went to New York, the only thing you go into a pharmacy and buy is drugs. Mm -hmm. In fact, they never even used to sell tanning or any on over the counter place, any over the, over the counter medication. I don't recall they selling it. 
today, when you go to the pharmacy, you get condom, you get milk, <laughs> you get pencil, mm -hmm. groceries, you get, you get grocery. Mm -hmm. We have to adapt, and the feed company have maintained that same model. They are not losing money. They will not lose money. They just need to adapt to a new thing and say, okay, I'm going to use that's my life. That's why Hyper Super Center is designed the way it's designed. Yeah. Why think no, when but, you go to A's to buy one thing, you buy 10 other things before you come out? Exactly. But, but that's, that's why the, the problem money. with that, the, the problem with that, they don't have a system in place to move the product from location to location. It is not effect. Number one, I don't know. I understand Kingston is supposed to be the corporate era is supposed to be central for everybody. Okay. But I'm going to bring the, I'm going to bring that, that need to be extended to different location. Because as I said, it's, it's cheaper for me to buy medication, buy vitamin in Alabama and get it to Jamaica than to down to send to, to put to, and a taxi to, to get it. So let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, Peter. You said yeah. that you have to go across two different parish for each, to Lindsay to get feed, right? Right. Well, one. Um, one. So and you Catherine get it cheaper. Is, um, um, St. Catherine is and St. Nero right at the border. There. So one. Lindsay. Yeah. So why you don't set up a farm store where you are to service your area and the clothes around it? <laughs> um, I was thinking about that, to be honest with you. And, um, um, and it's still an option, right? But I am not doing this for myself, right? There's, but for by doing business, that, you won't be doing it for yourself. You'll be doing it for well, everybody who has to travel as far as you. No, then then may I go, then may I go operate a business. Let, okay, let's put it this way. The uh, reason why I asked Ray not to post that price list, about six months ago, I approached Nutrimix. And what I recall was the same deal they're giving me right now is the same deal they are. Free delivery, but they hop it now. 400 at 4%. Four That's no new different than what they have right now, right? That's the standard that they have right now. You order 200 bucks, then deliver it free. And you get that discount, right? If I recall properly, okay? So I was thinking of opening up a feed store based on what people use. But then again, I'm going to go into the same problem. I am going to be just like a, a dealer like everybody else. I'm going to cut off the foot off of the guy in my district that all the one going to feed and try to make some money, right? Because if I get the feed and not to sell it at a lower cost for the farmers, right? So it, I, I, I take that out, right? So I am trying to set up a system to say, we're growing the business as Ray says. Let's do added value stuff. We need the medication get it to us you can sell us more we will order more lamb and ram if we don't have to go all the way to kingston to get it we can order it and deliver it to the farm i can order get my mp um pre-starter um as i need it we're increasing in number right so all I'm saying is that I'm not working on my behalf. I'm working on an all behalf because nobody else is doing it. And in return, all benefit. So, all right. So we don't know in the exact numbers, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the farm store in Linstead get it for, say, $10 and then put a $5 mark up on it and sell it back for $15. Mm -hmm. For you to get it up to you, it costs you. You have to drive down there. So, so your, your extra cost is your transportation cost, right? I say fifty percent. So when I work it out, um, I was I'm saving seven thousand dollars of transportation costs. I'm sorry, off the I okay. When I worked it out, and um, if I was supposed to buy the fee in Saint Geisel, yeah, I spent the limited for it. I'm saving seven to eight thousand dollars. Oh, oh, okay. So there is a farm store closer to you, but I'm just selling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. There's one down right. by, there's I think two down by the way. That's the um, Nutra Mix. I think her so, name is or something like that. And maybe you don't know the answer to this question, but is it that they sell it more expensive because there's nobody else selling it in the area? No, there's two and other people selling it in the area, but they're so just, if, that's their price. So if Nutra Mix giving you 400 bags with free delivery, right? Mm -hmm. At X price, the same ten dollar that Lindsay get it for, right? Mm -hmm. Couldn't you sell it cheaper because it's no cost to get it to you at your foot? Okay, um, I don't want to set up that type of business, right? No, man. No, so, I'm not saying I'm not saying you should. I would just talking hypothetically. You know what I mean? I'm not saying. Yeah, you, but you the area, saying. but you ask him to start an next enterprise with, and that's distracting exactly. from his poor enterprise that he's gonna focus exactly. on. Exactly, and that's not just what so I'm... he can get cheap fee, cheaper mm -hmm. fee. No, mm -hmm. the, 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 the fee company should say, "Yo, I'm gonna help you by coming halfway, or I'm gonna deliver it, whatever it is." They should All help right. you. Peter, you should have to set up Peter, shop Peter, and take Lincoln, away from your Lincoln, poor business. Peter Lincoln and Ray. Remember today, that I say that then we have that conversation with, with, with Peter. They did to That's set up shop. Well, no, I don't not, think not, not, not the 400 bags, you know, oh, oh, to set up a farm shop. store. Yeah, no, because man, like, that, that doesn't help the sector. That doesn't help it. We don't need more sellers than buyers, man. Exactly. No, no it, it exactly. helped the sector, it helped the sector because. If, if, if Mr. Makut not put in, not killing the margins like the, everybody else in him area, he would get the fee for the same amount of money as, okay. as the guy in Lincoln. Mi, 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 Mr. Henry, one, Mr. Henry, one, Mr. Wait Henry. Wait a second. Minute, uh, Lincoln, Lincoln, I want to address this one. One of the mm -hmm. things that came up in the conversation with me and uh, the feeding company was how do we know that you're not going to sell it? get the feeding cheap and sell it back, right? My answer to them was every farmer is going to buy, the, uh, buy their feeding, we put it on the centenary um, depot, and that's all this, right? So, you know, nobody's going to be selling anything, right? You know, so they're concerned about that. But they're concerned because they don't want you underselling the next one in the area and, and jeopardizing that relationship. Without, without well, formally establishing itself as a feed farm feed store. Mm, well, it's well, well. I, I, don't, I, I, I don't, I, I don't think it makes financial sense to set up a feed. Just imagine no. if everybody gonna set up a final. Uh, uh, we are not, we are not into the store no. business. We yeah, that's not your core business. And that's feed. not your core business. It don't make sense exactly. to you. Because, but, but, no, but if you gotta buy the volume of feed from them, it makes sense to them. It, no, but we are, we cannot focus on them. We have to focus on us. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I hear you loud and clear. And at the end of the day, I could drop all of this and I quietly, um, Mr. Patrick, get the sales up in here. I want a deal just for my farm. But for the sector to grow. For the sector. For the sake of the not just the we wanted to shift. We wanted to shift their mindset. To how do you support the sector for growth instead exactly. of just bottom line? Shift the mindset because at the end of the day, if the sector grow, you sell more. The man we are buying the pound of chicken and the pound of uh, corn and the pound of grower and the pound of this, he will always be there. The yep. backyard farmer will always, always be there. No, I'm not going to always be there. He might drop out. They drop out every no, year. No. He drop out and next one come in. Yeah. No, but the numbers change every year. No, no what I'm saying to you is if look one look backyard look, 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 farmer look at the egg out industry. Next one. Look at the egg industry right now. You know how much farmers drop out the egg business last year? That's just because of the movie. We cannot use the last calendar year <laughs> yeah, as a barometer yeah, for, for, for this thing. When you're at a certain size, you can afford to invest in cold storage or certain things to weather a certain storm. Small man can't do that. Same come out. Me, 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 and they're always me, in me, and out of the industry. Mr. Henry, with yeah. all fairness, you know, it, it, it was close to impossible for us to predict what happened last year. And yeah. Yeah. it's not a good indicator. No, I'm not even talking about last year, Lincoln. Even 2017, 2018, the best year, the biggest we could get was 2017. 
the market was sheepish 2018, it slowly come back 2019, and then COVID like 2020. But the reality is, when, when you have a, a, a Mark Campbell and a Roy Baker who have cold storage, when Egna sells from now to summer, then puts it in them fridge. And okay, sell. but the mama pops, the mama pops, backyard farmers that support they their community. That. that support so their community. Out. No, what them I'm saying. Out. No, but those guys are still producing. No, Papa. Them the man who has square raised fifty chicken and hundred chicken. You tell me he's not producing. The, all right, all right. Last year, when when the grade B and C chicken them come in the market, even tunnel house farmers were crying about it because them bite them get the feed and them get the chicken from the big man them. And at four or five weeks, they must sell back the birds are supposed to weigh a certain amount so they can make them money. But because of the grade eggs that they're getting, they weren't getting the weight. But guess what? So, they pay them per weight. I don't know anything weight. about that sector. All I know is if you support the sector, it will grow and you make more money. M M M Mr. Henry, do, yeah, do, you think, do you think all of us could save on transportation based on how the current system set up? Um, mm. Okay, be, be, based on where your farm located, mm -hmm. could you save on transportation if the feed was, if the product was available more to you? Do you have to go to Kingston to get certain product? All right, I, I'm kind of a, 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 a bad example because I can okay. walk to my farm store and the feed mill is five minutes away from my farm. Okay. So it's really just okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. But 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 you see the challenge, because in reality, how many people have close access to the feed company? Few. Okay, true. So what I'm simply saying, let us look at cost saving and a holistic approach. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because at the end of the day, I don't care if I save it and deliver costs. Or I save it and feed costs. What matter to me is that I save ten dollars. Exactly. I would right. love to. I would love to save it and everywhere. And you can right. you can use that ten dollars somewhere else for growth. Exactly. Mm -hmm. but I am simply saying the feed cost that is going up is a global problem. Okay. Right. So we cannot take a global problem now and trying to model it into the current system that we have. We have to adapt. Where the feed company could say, guys. This is killing the end user. The high price is killing the end user. Can we, can we, we're going to have to move this system in a way where we're going to have to, we can tackle the whole transportation cost and save some money there. That would not mm. affect, that would not affect the retail. Right. Let us start to have conversation as the, how can it be done? There is no business. I cannot tell the last day I go into a store to shop. Most of the time I go into store to shop is because I'm trying to share information with farmers. Because I go online, click, 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 click. You understand? You know how many people in Jamaica I set up my credit card for? Or, and they could just shop. Things change to, 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 to send money to Jamaica was costing me a lot of money because I remember Western Union I become cheap now. I remember sending money. It was $10 to send a hundred dollars. You were sending, you were sending a thousand dollar. You were paying about almost over a hundred, uh, close to, maybe close to a hundred dollar. Now it don't cost me a penny. Because I develop ways in which I could say, hey, there are lots of there are lots of Jamaicans who are doing business in the state. And they have to go to the bank to buy currency. So why don't I give them deposit the US dollar in, in their account? And they give me the Jamaican money. So we're saving on foreign exchange, we're saving on exchange. And we're saving on fee to send money. We both win. Mm -hmm. We have to think up creative ways in which we can say, guys, this is the reality. How can we save a penny? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I, 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 I encourage you guys because you, you have them ears now. So push and 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 negotiate like you say. Bargain and get the best deal to move the sector forward. Um, and and again, what... I can't speak on their behalf, and I'm not going to say that they don't want to move the sector forward or whatever it is. But I've heard, whether in passing or through conversation, well, just bottom line, them pretty much care about. So if, if and... you guys you guys have the ears of the people now, so push and bargain for the right numbers and the right discounts, it's what benefits and, the whole And with all due respect, with all due respect, I honestly think that they want to move it. I, I sincerely believe that they want to move it. And I really they, think that they, 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 I really they, think that they or, or, or particular individuals. Because, no. because Neutral Mix bigger than Dr. Young and, and Jennifer no, Brown no, but, bigger than Khalil. No, but I am not. I am, I, it's not only Dr. Young I'm bring, we're bringing to the table. No, I, I'm just saying, you know, you no, might have a conversation with a particular individual. But then yes, the, 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 the stakeholders. From the CEO to the sales regional director, we are bringing everybody to the table and say, guys, yeah, yeah. let us have and, a conversation. And hold them accountable based on that. We may not, Mr. Henry, we may not achieve nothing. You understand? No, 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 400 bag at 5%, that is holy per headway. It wasn't there before. Yes, so already but, so. we, yes, we are starting a conversation and saying, guys. Peter, Peter, Peter wants to something. Um, okay. okay. I just, yeah. just want to correct that. 400 bags at 4%. 4%, right. bags at 5%. And I think we can do better, all right? And um, the key thing here is that for us, we're growing, no doubt. Just look at me. Look at Ray. And that's all I'm saying, all right? We're growing. Look at Lincoln. Look at yourself, right? I have a recommendation for you. Um, look at a smaller room with a powerful AC. You just need to get that AC down to um, uh, eight, um, eight degrees to store your eggs. And you gotta know what the shelf life is, right? You, you get some styrofoam, you put on a concrete wall to insulate the wall to keep everything cool, right? And that's what you should do. Never give up on your market. That's why I believe raising a good market and that's why I'm not just doing pigs. You got to be versatile. That's why I jump into the boat and say, what if they drop? My boat, there should be a milk. What if the banana them drop? You, know, you understand what I'm saying? You got to look at your market and say the word if. And you're not safe because you want fear because it's reality. You it's have reality. negative part of your business, right? So what I'm saying here, let's go back to feed. Um... We're pushing to get right now on the table is 4% of what, right? Ray has the numbers there. I don't believe that should be the numbers we're looking at. I believe those numbers should be lower, right? And that's why I asked him not to post it tonight. So I think before we jump and go on and talk about pricing, how much clusters do we have, right? The feeding company already done the survey, you know. They want to offer somebody something and everybody not speak up. Right now, St. Hans is going to come combine with Trelawney, so good there. I think we're good in St. Mary. Uh, we're going to combine somebody St. Mary with St. Catherine, right? Um, I'm not asking anybody to change your deal, but I want to make the deal attractable that everybody say, you know what, I should be in this one, right? And then we got to look at there may be a slight transportation cost from wherever the depot is to your farm. We got to keep that in mind. I know my one going to be six thousand dollars, right? So because I, I am going to put it in an area where other farmers can benefit better than me, right? So I'm still going to save money, right? So we have to look at how the sector is going to grow. And if you're feeding company are listening, I'm asking you. Look at what Ray is doing. Look at what Mr. Henry is doing. Look what Lincoln is doing. We were at 10 animals three years ago. I'm just using that as an example. We're up to 50. We'll go up the next couple of years. Use your projection on what we're doing, right? Get a system in place that you do a survey to find out 
how much this guy had and how much he is and how much he intends to use in the next or go up in the next two years. That's what you're going to do. If you look at me, I'm not going to go up much more in pigs. You, you can count on me seven to eight hundred dollars. I mean, seven to eight hundred animals, but in goat, 50 this year, maybe a hundred next year. That's what we call growth, right? You know, because I'm in the learning process. And then I may have calls to the, the mixture, right? I'm not sure. I may have some feed in there. So the point, what I'm saying is that we got to look at the numbers and the feeding company has to look at the numbers and say, hey, where are we going? Ray had lick it on the head, you know? Uh, we have to have growth and they got to look at us. And we, and how, how you make extra money? Lam and rum, medication. Is it available in these places? Or if the guy will buy those medication more if they're in the local market and they can get it, all right? So the guy, um, go back to his old time remedy. Um, I want to deliver my animal in us. So let me give him some pumpkin seed, right? Because that's a natural dewormer for uh, for for goat, even pigs, right? You know, oh, yeah, so if, you understand what I'm saying. So if they have the medication there, we can get it. That's money to them. Look at that part of their business that they're not generating any revenue for. You know how much people may give away um, uh, choice mineral to? Because we get this from it's a, the farm store in Kingston. I mean, the nutrient mix in Kingston. They can't go there because more of my animal to be good, right? You know? So that's how they're going to enhance their 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 bottom line, right? And then in, we, in return, we get stuff, right? Really, you know, so three hours this. And oh, Mr. Wow. Mr. Mr. Henry, yeah, like we, so. we, we also, as farmers, have, ha, have, a, have, have a role to play, a big role. Because what happened, we, we, we don't, we, we, we ourselves don't create a platform. We create a platform to show goat. We don't create a platform to do business. True. Okay, for example, from Clarendon, if I should take a taxi from Clarendon to go to St. Elizabeth, to go to Goshen in St. Elizabeth, that taxi may to pick up a goat. They may want to charge me maybe 15000 You know, the last time I, I did that, I paid 5000 because what I realized, what I realized was that Randy was traveling all over Jamaica delivering stuff. I built a relationship with him where I said, every time you're going out, let me know. It is not going to cost him one penny more. Well, it's, I wouldn't say not. It's not going to cost him a significant amount of money to make More one. If he's going to Saint Elizabeth, hmm. it's well, not going to cost him. It's not going to cost him a lot of money. It's not going to cost him fifteen thousand dollars to go out of his way to pick up a goat in Saint Elizabeth for me. So we just got to think outside the box. We have exactly. to start to think and and come up with innovative ways to help the sector grow. Yes, because exactly. if somebody going from Westmoreland, you have to pass, you go to Kingston, you have to pass Clarendon, you pass Manchester, you pass St. Elizabeth. All along, product and service could be delivered and take care of. And you could save money. Yeah. How do we... How do we start to tap into these things? Okay. How do we start to save money? Okay. So, Lincoln, I don't mean to cut you, but we have put the ass before the cart. No, the cart before the ass, or whatever does old time saying it. Uh, for us to make a difference in the feed, for everybody to benefit, and, I, and that's my big focus, right? It's not about me. We need to sign up. We need to know your numbers, right? That's the first thing. If we have the numbers and I go to the company and say, look, I have 30 farmers. This is how much they're used to. 
They have okay. To be- with that said, can you tell everybody who's still here how they can get their numbers to you? And um, and actually, I repost it because I think you sent it to me. Um, yeah. And and we're gonna wrap it up here because we're doing like three hours. I didn't know we could talk that much. Oh God. Mm-hmm. When Jeez, you have Lincoln, I know. that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, okay. that's a good, healthy discussion. Wow. But I'm guys, impressed, guys. Yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I, guys, you know, I just want to say that there are lots of saving out there. Yeah, man. Yeah. And we have to. And there are lots of value added out there. I I was driving. I, I, I drive from Mantico Bay to Clarendon. And when I get to Clarendon, it is dry like chip. When I'm coming down Westmoreland and I'm seeing grass and I'm like, damn, we have a lot of untapped resource. Mm-hmm. Now, how do we capitalize on it? I, 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 let me just share something with you guys. What I'm looking at because of my situation. I'm looking at I already linked somebody and I'm like, hey, listen, I need a I need a container. I need a container. And I need to drop this container in the middle of a, a big field and make silage. I need to harvest all the grass when grass is available. And I'm simply saying, okay, you made this silage because I want to stop the, the container truck with with barrel and could lock it. And I'm saying, okay, if I put it in barrel, how am I going to do it? No, I'm going to put it into bags. And then in the bags, put it in barrel. So when I open a barrel, I don't have to use the whole barrel. I could use the bag. That's weird. I'm thinking because I don't have land. And there are times in Jamaica where grass is plentiful. And then there are times in which, which is not. When it's plentiful, how can we harvest it? How yeah. can we save it? You know, we have to start to have serious discussion and, 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 and brainstorm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, feed security. Well, oh. that's it, uh, gentlemen. I think we have to call it because it's uh, after 10. We did but, three but hours quick, quick note, almost. Quick note, Peter and Lincoln, you guys, they're going to send you, they're going to give you yeah. everything they need in them. So get the numbers together. Um, all farmers on online now, take down the contact numbers, form your clusters, get the numbers up. Because collectively, that's what, that's what you can use to negotiate and get the prices. Right, thank, thank you, Mr. Henry. And that's the key thing there, all right? Um, I could easily well go to the feeding company and say, this is my projection for my farm. Can you help me? But that's not going to drive the sector. I'm not talking no. to fix. So, uh, uh, farm limited at gmail.com, or you can send your information over to Ray or even to Mr. Henry there, and then they'll pass it on to me. I did get a proposal from the feeding company, and um, I'm reviewing it to what the prices are. And by my recollection, those numbers look similar to what they're offering me at 200 bucks, right? So I could be wrong. So the whole idea is to save some money regardless of feeding, right? Uh, so again, get me your numbers. We're looking for people in St. Mary. We're looking for people in St. Catherine. We're looking for people in uh, uh, St. Elizabeth. Wherever you can find, form a cluster group that can come up with 400 bags of feeding and we have a reliable place to store this stuff, then we can proceed. I know we're going to do about four cluster right now. And when people hear what we're doing, they'll jump on the bandwagon because people want to see, just like me, tell somebody, so I'm going to grow a banana. And when we grow the banana, you can you buy it? No, they want to see the banana now. So they want to see us start this. So I'm asking you to send me your numbers. I'm looking for big farmers. I'm looking for chicken farmers, right? Now, disrespect the good farmers, but you are welcome too, right? You know? Um, but we're looking for the numbers to build up so we can do it. And with this here, 
uh, you can order medication too, and they'll put it in a um, uh, we call it those egg uh, egg glue box and send it to us, right? You know, those are stuff we can do there. So it's all yours. Great, thank you for uh, giving me this platform tonight to express to the people then that we farmers need to unite. I've been preaching that for the last two weeks, right? Uh, I could be selfish Amen. and say it's just me, but I'm not doing that, all right? So uh, send us your information. So thank you very much, Ray. And thank Mr. you, Ray. I Yo, know you thank you guys this. for participating, man. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Henry. It was a pleasure man. speaking with you. Yes, and yeah, thank, man, thank everybody you. for uh, thank you everybody know, for participating. I'm saying you know, so bless you for joining. One bottle of wine tonight. Alika, <laughs> Alika, fault. It's Alika, fault. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I appreciate it, guys, and I think. Uh, we just got to keep it going and people will jump on board and whatever the outcome is, I know it's going to move the needle and move the sector forward because all we have to do is, you can't make change unless you shake up some things and disturb some things. You know? And that's exactly. what we yeah. You know what I mean? All so right. I appreciate it. And thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, everybody, for participating, all the faithfuls, all the, the returning people. And everybody have a safe lockdown weekend. Yo, Lincoln, you can go about your business and do what you want. Right here tomorrow, Sunday, I call it Tanaya Yard, Sunday. Don't move Sunday. By the way, I'm right in the back of your yard, you know, so be careful. Oh, all right, Merchant. Enjoy all the right. pool. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, uh, cool. All right, later. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. Thanks.